Clough, Ireland Royalty. It's Josh, how are you, sir? I'm good, mate. I'm Thank good. you for joining us. Feeling good, positive mate. about the game? I feel more positive than I have done this yeah. season, so I'm, I'm good, yeah. You lost the last game, right, but before that, unbeaten in 10 against Newcastle. Yeah, so, I mean, Newcastle, we, we do pretty well against them historically, so I'm not too nervous. Every reason yeah. to be confident. Exactly. Of course. Dave no. Jackson, Football Daily Royalty. Yeah, exactly. We are two wins off the bounce now, you know. We're trying to get some momentum. It's starting to come. This is Unai Emery's Army, Army, Red Army, all kinds of armies. <laughs> this is it. This is our march uh, to Premier League. Maybe not Premier League, but at least no, back to the yeah. top four. At least back to the top four. <laughs> this hope. is it. We hope. Spurs have lost today. I've already got a smile on my face. Perfect. Well, there we go. Dorman, you are running socials today. What do you want from the fine people at home watching on Football Daily social channels and Soccer AM social channels? Yes, guys, we want you guys at home to get as involved as possible. So tweet us your questions with the hashtag the football social to at Football Daily or at Soccer AM and we will form them out to our lovely guests and get their mm. opinions. Like it. Lovely jubbly. Will Brazio over there on the end. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you, mate. Right, mate. Joining us from Sporth. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Looking forward to watching some Premier League football, finally. I'm what a Birmingham your, City fan. So. What's your chief <laughs> role today? Uh, four games on here, 3pm, so we're going to let you know all the score updates for you. Lovely. Perfect. Love that, mate. I think we are going to go over to the lineups now, gentlemen, very briefly. On Newcastle Ooh. starting XR, we have Dubravka at the back, Yedlin, Lascelles, Fernandez, and Paul Dummett completing the back four. Richie, Hayden, Diarmi, and Murphy making the midfield four. Perez, who was their top goal scorer last season with eight in the league in attacking midfield. And Hosler up front, who has started the season on fire yes. by his standards yeah. anyway. Two, Two in goals. four, spearheading that attack. Now, Newcastle struggling for goals big time in this game. Arsenal fans, starting with you, Josh. Where do you see the threat coming from in this Newcastle starting XI? Ooh, I think Perez is probably going to be the one, one to watch, but I, I'm not too worried about that. I think, I think you know what, it would probably be more like a defensive lapse that's going to cause us problems rather than Newcastle going out and doing their thing. I think it's going to be more on us, and if we, if we manage to keep that back four working well together, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, I'm, 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 really I'm not, I'm not more happy to see, what's his name? Hosselu, yes. rather than like, what's his name, Rondon, because I think Rondon. Rondon's, Rondon's, Rondon's a bit of a bully. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you don't need that. Well, well you say like that, that, Dave, but Rondon has never scored against Arsenal, mate. Well, <laughs> you just jinxed it, so well <laughs> done. Yeah, thanks for that, well mate. Done, I really mate. appreciate Thank it, you. yeah. Get him out. All right, let's yeah, take a look <laughs> at the Arsenal starting lineup. Oh, delightful. So, check in goal still. Just look at that back in four. Look at that back four. Look at that back four. Does that back four fill you guys with confidence? Absolutely not. And who is the biggest... Culprit, who is the most liable at the back, in your opinion, me? David? Uh, um, the thing is, when we signed the Socrates, right, to me, he was like a player that if he was, if he was, if he was available on a free, go fine, we'll have him. We've got yeah. £60 million pound for him. <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's so slow, it's oh, unbelievable. Oh I know, um, you, you've got what, a sporting director, Sven Mislin's hat now. A lot of people thought that was why Arsenal were yeah, bringing we are, the right calibre yeah, player before, but his first two signings... Yeah, because basically mm. what we're trying to do is we are trying to rebuild a Dortmund team that lost to Bayern Munich in the Champions League <laughs> final a couple of years ago. These are in the final, mate, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's, for me, that defence, I, I don't like the fact that Nacho Morel at 32 is our best defender. That's that, that, to me, is not a very good sign. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's dark times. The biggest goal for it last season as well, wasn't it? It was. Is it towards scored, the tail end. Scored a um, obviously, season, got right? young Gendouzi and Xhaka actually, lining up in midfield. I actually love Gendouzi. Oh. Yeah, love him. I actually love him. Delightful what, what to watch. What are your on him at the start of the season? I think, he's, I think he's come in and he's looked... He's probably looked the most comfortable at this yeah. level. Like, what was he playing in? Like, the league, French League 2 or something? Yeah, yeah oh, relative obscurity. Yeah. Second yeah. division. Yeah. Yeah. Lens, was He got relegated. And then played a fair amount of second division in France, yeah, but... He's got that... He's got the crazy hair going on, the sideshow Bob hair, but he plays well. The, the thing I think I like about him, because when we play against Man City, um, he, he didn't have the best of starts, but he, he never went missing. You know, he thought, you know what, because also as well, that is probably the, that is going to be the toughest test he's going to have this season, playing, it, playing, it, playing, against mm -hmm. a Man, playing against a Man City team. But then rather than going, OK, I haven't said it started well, I'll start, 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 start to kind of fall back. No, no, I still want the ball. Give me the ball yeah. and I'll try and move Willing to take responsibility yeah. a he little bit. It and he well drives well. and he does. Yeah, he's, he's forward. He always first thinks, all right, okay, let, me, let me get forward with the yeah. ball. Let me see what's going on in front of me rather than... Jacques is a bit yeah. stationary. Oh, right. I'm going to be starting on Jacques, mate. Yeah, so if, right. Can you, can you please put plenty, can you please plenty of time for that. <laughs> can you put a poll now? What is the point of Granite Jacques? Yeah. Come on. Well, in life in no, general. No, to, to be <laughs> fair, on, on, on the last one. Yeah. 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 Most prominently, lads, Lacazette and Abemiang start love it. Love together. It. I, I had a dream about it. that because they've been involved in an awful lot of goals when starting in the same 11. It's, it's weird. Like um, Lacazette has started so well. 
But he started so he's playing with such confidence. Like this 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 is this is the player we thought we'd get him for fifty million pounds and now he's and there he is on look screen now. Yeah, he's a delight to look at, he's that, a delight that to trim as well. Oh, that is. Trim. <laughs> and the Bemiang, who is of course racked up eleven in seventeen since, since he joined, since. so he's taken off. You know, he's gone off like a rocket, hasn't it? Electrifying, and you might say. I, 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 I can see him putting Newcastle to the sword today, mate. You said four nil. I've said four nil because it will take us above Spurs. I'm actually going five. Oh, you're going oh, five now. Think, yeah. oh, Fair play. Really it rolls yeah. on. He's confident. I don't like in that mug. <laughs> I've, had, I've had two coffees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for five. I'm going for five now. So here we go. Yeah, five nil. Before we start. Shall we touch very briefly upon the Tottenham and Liverpool game? Because Liverpool edged Tottenham out 2-1 in the end. It should have been a lot more, in my opinion. Newcastle yep. and Newcastle. Uh, Liverpool could have really put, uh, well, four or five in reality, yep. past Tottenham. It's not the greatest day at the office for Pochettino's men. But now, are they the biggest title rivals to Manchester City? Uh, sorry, have they got, I don't know, the, the biggest claim to the throne? For me, yeah, yeah, yeah I think I think without shadow 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 of a doubt, like um, they dropped silly points last season, and what they are now five wins on the bounce is kind of like you see like the games that they would have drawn last season, they're, 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 they're now winning the games they would have lost, they're now getting joys even though they've won five wins. Mm. But um, yeah, I, I think they're looking extremely extremely strong. I think um, they've obviously addressed like the kind of goalkeeper issues. Yeah, know, with uh, Allison. Yeah, with Allison, big man, seventy five million pound. I, and, and honestly, we were like kind of we were like watching a game before. It could have easily been four or five. It'd yeah, be really really, really good. chances yeah. missed. Although Vaughan, not entirely convinced yeah, he can go yeah. for Tottenham. Uh, what do you make of Liverpool's season? Obviously, their recruitment has been great in the, in the summer, Josh. Um, as an Arsenal fan, are you a little bit jealous to see the talent you know, rock up on a Merseyside that has done? If you look at our front, our front four, you're like, you know what, that's nice to look at. But then you, you look at Liverpool's front four, you're going... That's a different level. Like, I don't know how much it was. Free, free. And then, like, you, yeah. we, people were mugging them off for buying Van Dyke for like 75 mil. Bargain, it's a bargain. Yeah. 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 And look at our different. Oh, yeah, no, it's a dream. And I think they, they really they play good football. Mm. They're super positive. Like, they can put anyone to the sword. Like, yeah. listen, it's just like we'll score more goals than you. Like, Sweet. that's that's their mentality. We used to be like that. Yeah, and they've so, shored up now. Yeah. Yeah. They were defensively vulnerable last season. Obviously, Van Dyke. I, th I knew he was a good player because he played for Celtic. Yeah. I think a lot of people were relatively unconvinced about the £75 million uh, transfer fee. But he's justified it. Only conceded one goal this season. I think no other player has kept more clean sheets than him since joining Liverpool. Yeah. So he seems to be... You know, he's, he's completed this. That, he's the last piece that, of the puzzle, Dave. Is that like an actual stat? Or you just put yeah, it you just <laughs> who knows it? Who knows it this time? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but we have the Football uh, Daily... Well, we have the Football Social Accumulator coming up now. So everyone has picked a result and you can bet along with us on Skybet. For details, check out the description below. So, Will, you've gone for an away win yep. in the Bournemouth Leicester game. Quick rationale behind that, mate. Uh, got my firm, former Birmingham boy, Damari Gray there. Ben Chilwell looks amazing and I've fallen in love with James Madison. So, simply, I think Leicester yeah, can do he it. He looks like a decent acquisition in yeah, the general, decent, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Pete, you've gone for... Pete? Who calls you Pete? Dorman. Can we get yeah, that change, yeah. please? <laughs> uh, you have gone for a home win, Chelsea versus Cardiff. Go yeah, on. This, one was, again, this one was fairly easy. I think Cardiff are one of the worst teams in the Premier League I've seen in a while, and Hazard will absolutely destroy them today, I reckon. All right. Mm. Dave, Huddersfield Palace. All Obviously, right. two teams you know an awful lot about. Yeah, an awful lot about. It was like... It was like I, I, I have no kind of rationale behind this. I thought, let me let me just, let me just go for that. Basically, what I want to do, I want to move up the accumulator. I want to get some serious odds in there. So I've gone for an away win. Oh, lovely job, play. And uh, yeah, well, of course, I've gone for Manchester City for them. That, sure. that doesn't really need justifying. <laughs> Josh, you've already said you're confident of an Arsenal victory. So yeah, you can't see past Lacazette and Aubameyang linking up and I love that. Just putting Newcastle to the sword. So, if you want to bet along with us, that is 18 to 1. So, not bad. Definitely not bad, considering they were all, <laughs> they were all <laughs> strong favourites, strong contenders. Um, Hosley to score first at 9 to 1 as well. I'm not sure. I think I'd, I'd prefer the accumulator over that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, yeah. not sure about Hosley. A bit of a cart horse, to be honest. <laughs> um, right, gentlemen, have we got any social questions that are worth asking before kickoff? Yeah, I've just one has been sent in here from Joe Maroon, and he says, hashtag the football social. Is Pochettino considered one of the best managers in the Premier League without winning a title yet? Ooh. Oh, good question. All right, gentlemen, who wants to face down this very tough question first? Dave, you seem keen? Sure. So sure. sure he, he is 
clearly a very talented manager, but I don't know if you can be considered a great manager until you've won a league title. So maybe he's got a least burst to do that. But I, I think he's a top, top manager. But I, I wouldn't say he's a great manager yet. Mm. What about you, Josh? Right, his rivals, are you a little bit jealous of the calibre of manager that Tottenham have? Yeah. Oh, yeah, not convinced. No, no. Listen, I, I think he's a great manager. I think, I think he, he's obviously got the players playing for him, but it's just when they get to that top, top level, can they push past it? And I don't know if he's the man to take them there. Really, I think if, if the club don't start to match his ambitions, he might leave for a Real Madrid. Yeah, I That's think he'd do well. Ooh. Right, the teams are coming out now, lining up. There is Mesut Ozil. This is a massive great game for weeks, us, today. It's a massive game for us, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's like he's, he's Arsenal rules here, and when Arsenal fans give him a bit grief, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, he could pick this, uh, this mm. Newcastle team apart, can they? I, I think he's, he's clearly going to play Ramsey for the yeah. middle with Ravon Ozil. So there's Ozil's chance to go, no, this, that's my shirt at number 10. I want to play in the middle. How is Ozil not yeah, in the middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramsey in the middle. Well, well he said, didn't he, at the start of the season, he wants to build a team around Ramsey. Arsenal have offered Ramsey a five year contract. Why? So Why? he is their man. Um, oh. But going back to the subject of Pochettino, I, I think, I mean, the, the calibre of managing the Premier League is unbelievable at current. Mm. But um, without, without significant investment, um, I think. Tottenham need to decide whether they want to be title challengers or just a Champions League club um, because uh, they, could, they could quickly slip out of the latter unless they buy a central midfielder. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a testament what he's done at Spurs so far, but they need to break through that glass ceiling at the minute. I mean, at the minute, they're just like stagnating and treading water. Pochettino won't stay if they do that. No, mm -hmm. I agree. And there's no way they'll be able to keep players like Harry Kane yeah. if they're not actually challenging for titles going far in the Champions League as well. <laughs> Will, as a Birmingham fan? <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on the matter? <laughs> <laughs> No, I think he just needs that, uh, that title, that competition under his belt, and he could be, could be well away. Decent. I, I agree. Right. Scenes here at this Manchester City versus Fulham. Now, Manchester City, for me, still the title favourites. Yeah. Um, Same. Very sort of uh, consistent on and off the pitch during the summer. What have you made of Manchester City's sort of rise to the top? It, it, are they a team you... You sort of uh, enjoy watching. Man, do, do, Man do you make City time to watch them? Yeah, Man City, the team that I want Arsenal to be. Like they play the football yeah. that we want to play. They, they've got the manager that I think we wanted after after Wenger was to leave. So now they play they play great football. And like, look, if you look at their squad, like there's they could they could field like a like a team of 22, like eleven yeah. versus eleven of players that would get into every single other side yeah. in the Premier League. So. And then they just go and add Mares for 75 yeah, As you do, yeah, casual. Yeah, quality. So not long until kick off now, chaps. Dorman, any other questions from social keep, keep sticking over? Um it's from in the boss here. Uh, <laughs> so uh, a, lo a lot of questions here at the minute. There's one one from Jamie Stevenson and it is revolving around Emery's decisions where to play Ozil. Like where does he fit in Emery's team? It kind of mm -hmm. seems like he's trying to fit a square peg in the round hole with Ozil. Where, where, where does he fit in that team and what does it mean for his future at Arsenal? Mm. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, take, well take he, he clearly is our future because we, we've offered him what next, what is it, four, four year deal or something like that. But I think Ozil needs to show a bit more. You know what I mean? I know he gets a lot of stick. I absolutely love uh, Mesut Ozil. But it's, it's almost like um, go and grab the shirt and then keep it. You know, you know what I mean? And say, no, no, this is my team now. This isn't Ramsey's team. This, this isn't, I don't know, Czech team. This is my team. You know what I mean? I want to lead Arsenal back to the top four. I, I, I want to lead us through to the Europa League and actually go and win, 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 win his trophies. But he, he, has to, he has to show more in these in his, in his actual kind of games. So there's a, there's, there's, there's a bit of responsibility from Ozil now that he needs to step up a little bit. OK, so in your opinion, what do Arsenal need to do to become a top four side? We've seen... Unai Emery's come in, he's tried to change the ethos, you're trying to you know, change your playing style. Um, that's going to take a while yeah. to, to bed in. He's trying to blood young talent like Gendouzi. Is he going about it the right way? Or do you think they still need a, a shift around in terms of personnel? Josh, you take charge on this one. Yeah, I think we need to sort out that back four. We need to sort out our goalkeeper that's situation. Um, Poor old Peter Cech. Trying to re reinvent himself Why at 55 to... years old. Yeah, it's, it's tough, mate. He should be retiring at some point, <laughs> hopefully at the end of this season. <laughs> but, you know, I think yeah, we need that, that back four in the keeper situation needs to be fixed. And we need to work out where Ozil's going to play, why Jack is still getting games. 100%. And why we're not starting Lacazette and Aubameyang up top every game. I, I, not, I need Leno care? to jump in because but I Leno. drafted him from a fantasy <laughs> team and I've got two keepers that don't you, play. You've yeah. had an absolute shocker I've there. had a terrible thing. Yeah, but he is a goalkeeper who they brought in because he is able with the ball at his feet, although I'd argue not been not been great for Leverkusen in the last mm. three or four years. Right, he's got to be better than Petr Cech with the ball at his feet. Surely. Yeah, and surely. that is near Petr He's literally yeah. on the ball now. <laughs> yeah. All right, the game has kicked off, has it, gentlemen? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So, are we going to get on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not a common ask screen. We're still watching Jamie Redknapp, as lovely as he is. Uh, the rest of the games have kicked off. Right, Pete, any more questions yeah, from social? Yeah, there's a question here just for Josh uh, from A99. How was it on missing out of the World Cup due to being in Love Island? I, if I'm being honest, I thought that we were going to get to watch the games and updates, and I was yeah. wrong, unfortunately. Okay. So we said, yeah, I literally used to be sat outside, like making up like scenarios in my head, like, okay, cool, if England get through, I reckon we we'll go out the groups, I reckon we'll go <laughs> out at the uh, the knockouts. Like, yeah. You make it up because you have no idea. So it's got, and so then we found out we got to the semis, like the day of the final. And I was just like, you're like immensely oh, wow. proud. You're, like, you feel like you had something to do yeah. with it. You're like, yeah. yes, come on, boys. <laughs> but no, it was it was gutting not knowing. But I think it's better to have nothing than have drips and yeah, 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 definitely. Well, I mean, were you trying to get like information off everybody in? As soon as anyone would come in, we'd be like, oh, t- tell us, tell us what's happening, how we play, like moles in the camp. Yeah, exactly. But then <laughs> the people come in and they'd be like, oh, do you know what? There's a bit of a buzz around England. And you go, what? <laughs> how? Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't say too much. Like, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here we are then. Newcastle, early free kick. We've got the game, finally. Oh, come on, Arsenal. Hung it up to the back post. Solid. Best Safe fans. Never confidently. said bad word again. I take back everything <laughs> I said about him. Look at him in his Hulk jersey. All right, it'll be interesting. Do you think... Oh, there we go. Look, it's still, it's still sticking to the short game. Mm. Unai Emery, how was uh, the, the game against Cardiff? I only watched the highlights. Obviously, Lacazette scored an absolutely wonderful it goal did. to well, clinch the game. But how did you fare in general? We, 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 I think we actually played OK, but there were such cheap goals that we conceded. Yeah. It's, it's like, and you can't keep doing that. You know what I mean? Like, against better teams, we wouldn't be able to score the three goals. You know, you know what I mean? So... Because yeah, um, creating's not really been the issue. Like against Chelsea, you created a half. There's been a goal, I, I sorry, understand. first goal of the day. Oh, early doors, oh. Will. Take over, I've please. not got any visuals, but it's been fed down my ear. Leroy Sane has scored for Manchester Already. City. Sane. So it's they look well on the way against Fulham. Uh, yeah, Leroy Sane. More as I get it, Chris. More as I get it. Thank you very much. Very professional. Thank well, you, that, yeah, yeah. that was great. Complete lack of visuals. That was great. Still looking at Robbie Keane, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just came mind. to me as a premonition. Back to the Newcastle Arsenal game. Right, here we as, go. As expected, I would say, you know, the first 10 minutes, Newcastle are going to come out as they're at home. Everyone, they, they, they love playing at St James's. We've got a weather the storm. Get the ball down the, the wings that are banner and let him run at them and uh, take our chances. And we will win 5 0, like I said. Oh, nice. Watch the space. I, I actually. It, I mean, it depends how Newcastle set up, right? Because against Chelsea, extremely hard to break down. I think Ooh. people criticised them afterwards and. Harshly so, because Rafa Benitez is using the tools at his disposal. Yeah. I think to finish 10th last season was Fantastic. unbelievable yeah. from him. 11 points from relegation. I think they lost 11 of the first 18 games, mate. Absolutely shocking uh, from the start of the season. And I've got to say, this is a championship squad at yeah. best. And yeah. I'm hoping you murder these today. Yeah. I'm an Arsenal fan for the day. Yeah. Yeah. So, c- come on, lads. I'm a, I'm a honor- honorary Guna. We've had about three touches of the ball so far. Well, so you, you look at the, the transfer business they did as well, and they signed championship-level players. Fulham went in and spent over £100 million. Wolves went in and spent, you know, they got Den Donker on the last day, they've got Ruben Neves, they've got half the Portugal team. Cardiff went inside Bobby Reid from, from Bristol City, so, like, how do you expect to compete in this league when, then, when, you're, not, when you're not spent? Well, yeah. you might not have the money, but you can still spend smarter. I mean, Bobby Reid is a centre-made that has been formatted into a striker. For Bristol City, and he did well in the championship, but yeah. he's not going to get you 20 plus goals and then in the on, Premier League. And then, wasn't it on the last day, the, the, the transfer window, they actually sold Metrovic? So it's yeah. just like, what, what, do, what are you actually trying to do here? Do you, do you actually want to stay in, or do you want to buy another house like Bay Fraser, is it? Come on, Arsenal. <laughs> Early oh, cross there. Same fans again. Who's Look that? at him, rolling back the years, <laughs> better check. Isaac Hayden. Decent yeah, he was player, actually. Yeah, 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 awesome. Decent at shifting the ball, I don't mind him. Right, what's going on the rest of the games? Will how have the other three o'clock kickoffs? Well, I'm just started. adjusting my uh, beady eyes to watching four <laughs> games, but there should have been arguably a penalty for Huddersfield. Kachunga Ooh. taken down by the keeper, not given, played on, um, and something you don't normally see. There was a false start kickoff in the Bournemouth Leicester oh, game. A collector's item. For the purest, item, for the purest say. Say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. All right, so no goals. So at the, one at, false kickoff. Just at the moment, we're actually doing all right in the accumulator, right? Because. Yeah, Man City are winning. We're about six minutes in. Yeah. If, if it's a write-off after that, then, <laughs> yeah. then we're, we've lost all, all the trust of the, of the audience at home. Anyway, keep getting your audience questions in. Dorman wants them. We need them. You know, if there's no goals, your questions will feature prominently. Mm. So keep getting them in. Dorman, have we had anything else Arsenal-related? Uh, no, uh, there's one here City-related. Oh, go on, um, Ruben Topical. has asked, should Man City focus on winning the league or should they focus on winning the Champions League? Because that was a lot of the criticism last year about Pep 
and or by Pep not winning the Champions League. Yeah, OK, so... I mean, they ultimately what went out in the quarterfinals. It's uh, a well, rampant Liverpool team, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah quarters or semis to Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, so a couple, a couple of decisions went went there against them in that game. I think. Yeah, yeah. there was, 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 was a disallowed really goal. They should yeah. have had a penalty yeah. at the Etihad. That it could have been game on. It could have been three 0 to them at half time. It, it was basically a mental twenty minutes that Liverpool had when it scored <laughs> yeah. three goals, yeah. and that was, that was basically under the tie, wasn't it? And the calibre of goal as well. Oxley yeah. Chamberlain oh, scoring from thirty yards. Lads, Manchester City, Champions League credentials. I think they've got to be up there one of the favourites, haven't they? Yeah. Um, okay, so who are your favourites and who are your, who are your underdogs? In the Champions League? Yeah. Uh, favourites, I think Man City are up there. Obviously, PSG with Mbappe. Oh, Mbappe is ridiculous. Mbappe's different level. Yeah, like, it's um, different grade and he's class. 19. That is, oh, that is mental, it's isn't it? Mental. That is actually disgusting. He's actually, yeah. Neymar's gone to PSG to drown with the Ballon d'Or and Mbappe's going to win it before him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, uh, yes, I'd say PSG and what did you say? What's your, your underdog? underdog? So I went for Tottenham, but after watching that display no, against mm. Liverpool, I'm, uh, no chance. I'm eating my words. Uh, Atletico Madrid underdog. Mm. Why not? Right, fair <laughs> I mean, they <laughs> are always like the perpetual underdog, aren't they? What about you, mate? So, Champions League football? Who, who are you tipping for? It's hard to even just look past the crown. Real Madrid. Like, mm. just, yeah, Real Madrid. How, how, how do you look past them? Right? They just keep winning it. And you yeah. think, no, nah, they can't do it again. Ronaldo list Real Madrid? Obviously, yeah. Ronaldo wanted to dance. What did he get? 16, 17 in the Champions League last season? Something unreal. Yeah. Um, so they might struggle you know without him. But... Yeah, no, it was if, if Ronaldo was a club, he would be the 10th highest scorer yeah. in the Champions League. If he was a club, just him. Yeah. I think he's, yeah, he scored more than 400, 400 like, plus teams, hasn't yeah, he? It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, but... he's a bit past the Ronaldo effect. So I'll say Juve as well. Yeah, they're going to be strong. Yeah, like but he, he's, he's, had a, he's had a. Like troubled start at Juve, he's, he's got no assist, one assist, no goals in three, four. Very games. similar to his start at Real Madrid last season, yeah, um, and then having a bunch of shots, sc scoring no goals, a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, but I, I, think, he, I think he currently has the worst conversion rate in Europe. Most shots, no goals. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Statman Pete. Sh should we like change the title of this video to "Is Is Chris Ronaldo finished?" We'll get the clicks in, <laughs> right? And then we'll, yeah. and then we'll, and then we'll change it back. And that's to what we told. Yeah, 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 it's, well, it's basically it's Evans, isn't it? Yeah. It's Evans. Even Stevens. Yeah. yeah. But we haven't really conceded much in terms of like a, um, any kind of clear-cut kind of chances. There, there hasn't really been anything happen really. But it, I think, it, as, as, as I kind of say, where it's like we just need to weather the storm. They'll come out as quite strong there because we're up at St James's, and then we'll be able to build on that and yeah. get the. Sorry, no. Fair play, nice there. A little bit of interplay from Urzel. This is what we want to see, isn't it, boys? Oh, Lacazette nearly getting hold of it. The arm, eh? I think useful player for Newcastle, putting up some decent stats this season. Oh, he's got it. Newcastle have got him behind here after that surging run. Is that a Perez? This is oh. Yeah. And that's where you're conceding yeah. decent opportunities yeah. on the edge of your box. It's, it happened in the Chelsea game, it's happening here. Is it? No, it's not, that's not great defender, is it? Right. Getting doozy, a maybe a little bit, a bit naive from him there. But anyway. Come on, it's coming, lads. The goal's coming. <laughs> the action's coming. Come on, Arsenal Newcastle. Conjure up something for us. What's he what else is happening in the in the other games, William? Uh, Jamie Vardy using his pace got through one on one with the keeper, but keeper got there first. He got up in true Vardy fashion, and he was uh, saying some words to some effect that probably can't be said at 3 p.m. Uh, he thought he should have had a penalty. Giroud in the Chelsea game, towering header going to the back post, but just gone past the just gone past the post. And England fans out there, our hero Kyle Walker has gone down with an eye injury. Oh mm. no, no. I think Kyle right. Walker is the best right back in the world at current. What do you make of that? For me, it's Kieran Trippier after the, the summer. Really? Off. Yeah. Oh, I don't just think the, just the, you get the defensive it. and then you get the uh, the delivery of that free kick and fair play. Anyway, going back to the game, Mesut Ozil has two in his last three against Newcastle. I'm assured, then he's ten to one to score first. That's definitely uh, ten to one. Yeah, that's definitely. That's definitely I mean, five. It's not bad considering yeah. Hosley was nine to one. So. <laughs> Is it for Ozil to score next or for him to just score today? To score first. Score first. Ah, oh. oh. But it's not looking yeah. like Arsenal are going to score first, we is it, John? a shot on goal, no. That, but you know what? I think, yeah, you said, like, they've got to weather that storm. And they're going to come out of the traps quickly. They're going to be pumping a lot of long balls in, into our box, like, trying to expose our defenders. Yeah. But, I mean, he's yeah. just unmarked. I mean, maybe they're just making excuses for Arsenal. Not being <laughs> very good. I'm not sure which just one. Say, it is. even at then, that, that wasn't great defend from Arsenal. There was, yeah. there was, there was at least two men over there. I think it's like just, just Arsenal are kind of fundamentals. Yeah. Arsenal are kind of becoming the new Liverpool in that they've got an amazing attack but a really shoddy defence and keeper. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, oh, that, oh, that actually just happened there. Goodness gracious, that was a replay. I think we just missed that listening to Dorman. Oh, good old, good <laughs> old I mean, Peter Check. <sighs> yeah. Come on, Dorman, mate. It just, it just invites pressure. It's just stupid. It, it, just, it, un, it unnerves it all of our back four. Yeah. You don't want to go back to him. And when that's your only out option, and it's your safety. Yeah. It's just. Hoyer's no, Hoy, Hoy oh, Hoy Hoy Lennon. Hoy's Lennon. Off, off, no, he's not, because it was. He's off, he's off. Good time. Chaps, but do you want. So, Carragher and Neville had this argument, right? So. Unai Emery's now coming in, Ooh. and um, I, I, so Neville's argument was that he should play his ethos now, no matter yeah. how bad Czech is at it, because it's going to build a bit of continuity, and when players come in further on down the line, they'll be more accustomed to it. Carragher's saying, without the personnel, yeah. they should be adopting a more pragmatic system, they should be pumping it long, they shouldn't be playing it short. So whose camp are you in? Because... I mean, you're kind of saying they shouldn't be doing that sort of thing, but as Arsenal fans, I imagine, like the rest of them, you've been clamouring for a change of system, a change of uh, means of playing for the last five years, and uh, now you're kind of getting yeah. it, but there's going to be a rough patch, right? I mean, the thing is, it kind of it depends how you see it. It's like whether you want like a short-term or long-term kind of vision, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's kind of like, if, if, if we were just... For example, say, right, let's just play, like, for example, like the long ball, because that's what Peter Cech is kind of used to, right? Yeah, we might have a decent one in one of the cups, but it's about having a bit of trust in Emery and saying, no, we, we are going to build around your, like, outlook, and, um, you know, there might be some very dark days in, mm. in the short term, but it's, it's, it's whether or not we have enough trust in this manager that he's going to be able to take us back to the glory um, times, and if it is, then we have to put up with, you know, some really cheap, shocking goals that we have to concede, and then just hope that the boys are up top can kind of bail, bail us out enough that we don't lose enough momentum that we start to step down for you know from like six to eight to time you know what i mean we, we need we, we, we at least need to see momentum yeah okay saying. so as long as you're seeing progress you yeah. don't mind these little mishaps what about you josh do you think they should i mean my issue is that it's, it's not a long-term plan if you don't check it isn't, isn't a long-term plan right so why why are we playing a system that doesn't suit the players that we've got now yeah. and aren't in our future like if, it's because why you're playing the new goalkeeper yeah, right I, I don't get what's going on. Yeah, I'm like, asking that question. Fantasy football, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I need him. Yeah. I need him now. Yeah. But, like, yeah, if you, I, I doubt these, this, this back four is going to last another two years. Yeah. You know I mean? I doubt that our keeper is going to last another two years. Yeah. So why, if it's a long-term plan, we need to be bringing in, the, we need to be using the new signings and we need to be you know, implementing that system with the new players that he's picked and he's, he's yeah. chosen. So I don't really understand it. Come yeah, on. We have it. Yeah. Back to the game at hand, because every time I look up, no, I've got right, to say, you're right. You're right. they're going, Newcastle are being nice and direct, and they're targeting that right centre half, aren't they? Is it Socrates? Yeah. Yeah. Or is it Mustafi? Because nice. the ball is going deep well, I don't every know time. Which they, I mean, don't think they know who's playing at right centre half <laughs> and left centre half. <laughs> Uh, it's probably because I mean Richie has the best the best delivery in that Newcastle side, doesn't it? He was there sort of he was pivotal for them at the tail end of last season, a bit of an assist machine. So maybe maybe they're not targeting anyone specific, it's just where the ball's landing. But here we go again. Oh god. It's like a nice little mini game, isn't it? Just <laughs> will they will they get out of their own eighteen yard box? No, but this this is constant. Every game we're giving away so much possession. Yeah. Yeah. But in dangerous, dangerous positions as yeah, well. So we haven't given away cheap free kicks yeah. or corners, it's just You're just shooting yourself in the foot. Oh, it's just stupid, yeah. Dorman. Stupid! <laughs> Dorman, do we have any questions? Everything's better though. I like the look at yes, yes, yes. Put that on pause, Dorman. Dorman. Right, you've got time, you've got time, Baron. Oh, hey, you've won a corner. It's right. the worst that's the, that's the best move you put together all game. The thing though. is, the thing, the thing is, Ben, right? He gets in such amazing positions. I, I feel like someone, if he's going to play his wing back, right? Like, that is something he can practice in training. Just get past the player and could cross it. The amount of times he doesn't beat the first man from, from, from that right wing position, it does my. But we used to have the same problem with. I mean, we, listen, we had Thierry Henry taking our corners at times. Like then we've had like Walcott can never cross. No, right? Hecky B can't cross. Yeah. Like, who? Like but one round, we got the best delivery. Get Welbs on. Yeah. Get big Welbs. Get well. <laughs> that guy, man. Uh, Get big Welbs on. No, but you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, like I, I feel like that is something you can practice in training. Oh, to Man City through. Oh, oh, sorry, looking at both games. <laughs> Let's go over to Brazier. What happened, mate? Raheem Sterling through, gone underneath the keeper, um, and it's gone off the bar. But as we say that, Cardiff have scored at Stamford Bridge. No, they haven't. Oh, oh, no, they oh, haven't. And I think... That? Cardiff are uh, absolutely toiling. Come yeah, on, what's happened, Wilson? I'm great. just waiting to hear who scored. I was distracted by City going through. Sol Bamba, Neil Warnock's um, son. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's gone up and he's scored from a corner. It's all going off, Hamill. So, so I'm, just, I'm glad I've had a coffee. XC, what a guy. He, he in. has had a, a fascinating It's a free career. kick. It's gone back across and Bamba's popped up. Oh, it's a little karate, karate kick in. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, Jackie finished. Chan. So, uh, yeah, Chelsea's 100% record under... Uh, what, come on, take, oh, that's... 
He's clean someone out. That was nice. Very, very, that was very, very good defending from Guendouzi then. And also in the Leicester game, uh, Ryan Fraser went through. Thought he should have had a penalty. Looking at the replays, a bit of a dive from, from the young yeah. lad. So, not nice to see <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Chelsea are through as well. And uh, I think Hazard just had a shot pops off. All going off. Scenes. Very well handled though, Will. That was. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah. Absolutely natural in that seat. You know, sometimes the seat can consume you, but <laughs> he's finished his tea already. Get the man another tea. I Come on. It. It's too much um, action. Dawn, have we got any fan questions, bud? Uh, yeah, the question from David Brent one, and he has asked. Excuse me. What? Is, this your, is one? this your other account? <laughs> it is, isn't it? He's obsessed with the office. Can <laughs> Aubameyang win the Golden Boot? No. Why not? Mm. Must you say no? Because he hasn't got the players around him to, to help him. I mean, you need okay. you need you need to be consistently scoring goals yeah. in games. I mean, everyone oh. needs to be on that. But he's got Mesut Özil, yeah. who was creating four chances a game last season. Playing Mesut off the right and then off Stupid. the left and then getting him to cut in. Just get Ramsey. Even out, even get. if he plays Mesut with Lacazette. Do you think no, but I think that's the thing. If you play like as he plays through the middle, and then Aubameyang has to go into the left. So but he, he yeah. it's almost like you don't want like, like, like to sacrifice. be eating up Aubameyang's goals, but and you don't want to play Aubameyang on his own. Yeah. But in saying that, in the, in the last six games they started together, they've scored six each. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. They have so, been deadly together. But if not Aubameyang, then yes. who chaps? What in the Premier League? Obviously, or like in you've got the usual like, candidates: Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Premier League's top goal scorer, Harry Kane, Mo Salah. Sergio Aguero, can you look beyond either of, well, any of them three? I, I, feel, I feel that Mo Salah will get a lot of goals. I don't, I don't think he'll do the same height as he did last season. Yeah. I think he's still a top, top you know, kind of striker. I think Kane's going to be up there as much as it pains me to say. He's just, yeah. Um, he started the season. I mean, I know he's a notoriously slow starter, but he does not look that fit at the start yeah, of this season. He, probably, yeah, he, he didn't look that fit in the World Cup either. Yeah. Well, from the round of 16 onwards. Yeah. He just looks he was just shattered. shattered. Yeah, especially after the Columbia game. He didn't. Yeah, I, I don't think he can look past Aguero, to be honest, in that city team. Aguero. He hasn't had the best start, but like, I think throughout oh. the 38 games of the season, he will rack up hefty goals. Yeah. It was interesting to hear from Aguero that he's been carrying a, a knee injury for yeah. five years and he's finally had surgery on it. Well, we had it at the end of last season, I think. If you watched the All or Nothing documentary, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you'd have known. But, um, uh, yeah, after that, he said he's, he's, he's felt the best he's ever felt. So, really? Yeah, scary. I think people should be, yeah, scared of Aguero this year, big time. I think, without showing a doubt, Aubameyang will definitely get goals. You know, oh, I think, yeah. I, think, I, think, I reckon he'll get... Yeah, he's 25. Yeah, yeah, 25. Good 25 on this season. I think he, similar, similar like, levels of Salah this season, I think they'll both go by 25. Aguero Keane like, might be, like, a couple of goals ahead of him. Yeah, I mean, the only reason why I think that they won't, they won't necessarily get as many goals is because I think we're going to be playing different systems, there's going to be a learning curve, we're going to lose games that maybe we should win just because we're trying things out yeah. and trying players in different positions. So, I hope he does get goals, but I think this season's a bit of a, bit of a learning curve. I mean, curve. was he not Arsenal's top scorer in the league last season, even though he only right, came in January? Yeah, from yeah, yeah, that, was One, one would have was. scored, Ryan Fraser. Oh, the imp scored, over to Will. He could have been booked for a penalty, uh, for a dive earlier, but he's curled one in, edge of the box. It's a bit like Thierry Henry esque. Uh, Ryan oh, Fraser yeah. and Thierry Henry. It's better level up to expectation, yeah. because uh, nothing's happening in the Arsenal. I've said that now. It's a bit of a corner. Here we go, yeah, Mezet. Uh, straight on, on Lacazette's bot. No, straight on Mustafi's bots. Watch yeah. this. All right. what, watch this. We'll go back to Will for a description of the goal after this corner. Go on. Oh, ooh, delivery. Oh, he's, a bit he, of a he's, he's hammered that in. Absolute walnut whip. Go on then, describe the walnut goal, whip. Josh King sent in the ball, lays it off. Ryan Fraser keeps oh, on like running, that, edge of the box, curls it in, low drive, but you know that nice whip. That Which cherry on re goal were you talking about, mate? That one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said it, I used to be regretting it. But, uh, Ryan Fraser, the next Thierry Henry, you've heard it here first. <laughs> that is a lovely finish. finish. A lovely finish. And, uh, lovely finish. Chelsea could have equalised as well at Stamford Bridge. Jorginho going through after a lovely little flick from uh, Olivia Giroud. And Giroud starting there over Morata. Um, yeah, well, I mean, that's. Morata is... Oh, not a Morata fan? Toilet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we don't beat around the bush, Josh. Just say what you mean, mate. <laughs> nah, but... Come on. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't he got the worst one-on-one? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I thought you were in there. Go on. Uh, the worst one-on-one -on -one conversion ratio in the league, isn't he? Oh, what has he done here? Oh, oh no. This is not... Was that Nacho Monreal? No, he missed the reliable. He missed that. Oh, good defending oh, soccer oh, team. Oh, oh. Who's, who's just been gassed by Socrates? Because yeah. that is totally unacceptable. Yeah. Plus, Mustafi, he's actually got, he got a little bit of Mustafi. No, no, I think, got, I think, no, I'm no, pretty sure Mustafi on the floor. No, it's Mustafi makes a mistake. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my but God. But that is typical. Right? Yeah. Are you surprised? The flight of the ball has actually taken him down. Yeah, it's very windy. Uh, it's very <laughs> windy. Don't, don't get to St. James's Park. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 70 mile gear force winds. It's Isaac Hayden. He's got a little bit of gas about him. And Socrates has caught him up there. Oh. That's Murphy, yeah. Okay, come on, Mustafi. Compose yourself now. 
Stupid. Oh, it's found its way to the back post there. There's panic stations every time the ball goes in the box. Oh, God. Oh! Big Pete, he's put it back into a danger area. Get him out now, get him out! Yes, find the corner. Hey, this is... This is ragged stuff. Mate, that bloody 5 nils not looking good, is it? Yeah. I mean, not not convincing defending that goal. 2 nil City, David Silva's just banged one in. Over to Braza, Brazier. I tell you what, I'm, it's ping ponging around in the area. David Silva's popped up, absolutely smashed one off the underside of the bar. Uh, don't know who got the assist, but City tuning up against Fulham and looking strong, very, El very strong. Maggio strikes again. What a player! What a mm. player! But City's best ever quality. player in the Premier League era, in my opinion. David Silva. David yeah. Silva. Yeah. I actually shared a toilet with him once. Yeah? yeah. Nice. Very, 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 very nice man. Uh, the Rhinel or...? Um... What, did they see him keep a goal? No, uh, well, you know, like the... Did you play the swords? Yeah. Like the thing like that? Well, no, mate, he's... Well, have any... For like a small man. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like this line of conversation. Has anyone else shared a toilet with a professional footballer? I had uh, Didier oh, Gaff. Oh, yeah. Celtic's oh, yeah, former yeah. right-back. When oh, I nice. watched Celtic versus Barcelona, I went... Mm. <laughs> looked him on the urine and went... Right, Didier. <laughs> 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 and that was it, he just went, hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we did that. Did you, did you make, did you make yeah. like, contact oh, and locked? Lingered, locked, locked lingered. I was beyond the seven-second rule. Jimmy Carr once held the toilet door open for me. Oh, that's, that's but he didn't do the laugh, so um, what's the point? Yeah. Sean, Sean, <laughs> Sean Dyche in a... Oh, yeah. Wow. In a service. Scary man. Yeah, he, he's way tall. I thought that was just oh, Where did you bump into Sean Dyche? On the way back from Liverpool. So was it just you two in the yeah, toilet? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. His natural habitat. Not, yeah. So, <laughs> eating a ginster's yeah, pasta. I mean, <laughs> just going up and down the M1. I haven't yeah, eaten yeah, every ginster's pasta. He actually doesn't have a home. He just travels between ginster's Right, back to the game in hand, then. What are we saying, chaps? Because this is looking pretty stationary in the last half. This has not been... It's been defensively shambolic. Uninspiring. Come on, Ozil. This, this is this oh. is where I've not seen Ramsey touch the ball. But oh, there, another flick. That's Ramsey's uh, favourite. Oh, there you see another. I like that Lacazette Flicks drops deep. Very willing to join up with. But I don't want that. Link I want my there. centre forward up there. Yeah. He <laughs> makes really intelligent runs. Like he, he I, does. I like him, but yeah, I think he's a bit frustrated about not getting the ball. Maybe. But he, he's kind of that Firmino-esque player where he, he kind of drops off. He's harder yeah. to pick up as a result. Uh, <laughs> Solid defence. And like, like we were saying earlier, your top goal scorer in the league oh. last year, despite starting. Oh. This is it. Oh. Bam oh. Bam 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 Get the guys. Oh, oh, good tackle. Foul. Surely. Good tackle. Surely. That's a, that's a good is that tackle. Paul Dummett? Oh, come on, Aubameyang. Like, is that supposed pace? to be? Yeah, it's supposed to be pacing. I thought he was through. Oh, yeah. 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 If he takes one more. That's me water. Have we got any got any decent questions? Fire off to the panel. Um, Ashley Toomey has asked, with the formation Emery plays, do Arsenal need to uh, ask more of their wingers defensively? No, we do don't, they don't, need, they don't, need, they don't have any wingers. Well, I mean, yeah, who's, you, who's, who's yeah. a winger? At the minute, it's Aubameyang and Ozil. Yeah, and they're like the most central yeah. wingers yeah. you've ever seen you like. Coming in, yeah, it's like... We've got no... We've got, we got like... Yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Head's gone already. Lost for words. Yeah. Ash, what have you done with that question? You, you, you rattled the guest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Can, you, can, you... can we have some positive questions? Yeah, some positive questions. Yeah. something a little... Uh, generates a little bit Let's more positivity. Talk about the yeah. Okay. That's a great tackle, by the way. It was, but... God, you should be quicker. Though. Rafa Benitez... What has happened there? Yeah, Rafa Benitez's just... teams are always hard to break. You, you've done very well there, because yeah, a lot I'm of people just... struggle with them. Yeah, well, um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, by very well, I mean you've embarrassed yourself. <laughs> um, here we oh, go. Come on, Last time a free kick. Xhaka. Just do something, mate. Edge of the box. Come on. Just find the red shirt. He's useless. This won't be the first oh, one. Don't get me started. Come on. Yes, of course. Oh, second, second man. man. Come on. I mean, Turn. the fact Urzel oh, has... Love that, love that. Oh, oh. side netting. The fact that has gone to 12-1 to one for next goal scorer is a good indication of how this game is going 12 for to one. Arsenal. Oh. Uh, Jose Perez, next goal scorer. 10-1, to one, like I said. Newcastle's top goal scorer <laughs> last season with eight in the league. <laughs> Ten in all competitions, though. <laughs> and Will Shoikin on his tee. Couldn't quite believe it. What's happened? <laughs> uh, What's no, that? I just couldn't believe the odds for Jose Perez. Yeah. It's absolutely <laughs> shocking there, <laughs> No, but nothing else happened. Leicester have got a very dangerous free kick. Centre. Remember Kieran Trippier against Croatia? We're in a similar sort of position for James oh, yeah. Madison. Uh, um, we mentioned him earlier. The apple of your eye, mate. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Is he going to back? I've actually been oh, really impressed with the transition from really Norris to Leicester this season. I think it's either Chilwell or Madison. But yeah, caught my eye in that first game at Old Trafford on Friday <laughs> night. Steps up! We've oh, got the two right. Arsenal fans watching the Leicester game. <laughs> <laughs> Back to our feature game anyway. The KG affair at St. Oh, James's Park. What has he done here? What a pass that is, though. Confusion tactics. I and like it's, it. It's coming down with snow on it from Socrates. What's happened? <laughs> How's this touch, Mustafi? What's going on? Oh, we are in bits. It's, it's, it's quite hard to identify between Socrates and Mustafi because they're, they're both... They're both useless. Playing relatively bad. Yes. No. Newcastle was about 60% possession, easily. 
Yeah, looking... Newcastle had twenty percent possession in mm. their last game. Yeah. And oh, these, they're, they're, they're bullying last night. Yeah. I, I think it was like it was like sub fifteen right, this, this is it. This against is it. against Chelsea. This is it. Go on. Yeah, I, I think it's one of the lowest. Chelsea are yeah. so Overall much. Possessions. So we talk about new. Oh, it's a chance. Hello, Trust me. On it's a chance. Oh, oh for goodness. Where was sake. who was even making that run? All right. Oh. Jackson. We talk about new ethos, new ways of playing. Yeah. So it's happened pretty quickly at Chelsea with Sarri. Obviously, Jorginho's well, a linchpin in that side. They got lucky. What do you mean they got lucky? Caliber well, of manager. We should have just... smashed them. All right, and then as soon as you go from like you know the moment they what they won four four like, games on the bounce, yeah. right? As soon as, you, as, soon, as soon as you lose one, your momentum. I mean, the Ollie's gone, Cardiff, but well, I, I oh, cool. the diff. Yeah, yeah. So. no, they were wrong. He's he's done. He's done. He's, he's definitely done yeah. well. Um, and he's kind of yeah, he's, he's done all right. They're so actually my, they're actually my dark horses for Champions League qualification. Mm. Mm. A little sneak yeah. in there, Chelsea boys. What do you think, Will? Uh, Any credence? I don't think that's much of a dark horse, Chris. You're not really putting yourself on the line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the top four is pretty set. Watford would be a dark horse. Well, well, what, what I mean, that'd be stupid, wouldn't it? A dark that horse. Could do, it could do a Leicester this year. Well, no, yeah. I think they'd do extremely well finishing in the top ten. I think of, of, of the top, oh, of the top what, four. Watford, yeah. Really? I think they'll maybe eighth. Troy yeah, Deeney's really? on boot. We're getting really a little bit carried away. I mean, they were, uh, the start of the... At the start of last season, they were doing fantastically well under Marco Silva, weren't they? And then we saw the tail end of the season. It took yeah, an fell off an absolute cliff. Just so. put it this way, if they don't win the league, I'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. This is it now. What else is it? What's happening? What's going on? Oh, God. Just, well, just relax, relax. Don't try and but force me. it. Let's just try and build something. Let's get a bit of possession. Good. Go okay, on, cool. Abamian. Nice. Using... No, Yedlin yeah, is like a 100-metre sprinter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's all he does. Yedlin's yeah, lining. Uh, uh, you... Pro or against Xhaka, and do you see any redeemable qualities in him, Josh? Pro or oh, Josh, yeah. Uh, I know what your thoughts are, <laughs> then, for God's sake. Are there any pros that come with Xhaka? That's what I'm asking you. I, I really don't awesome think fan. so. Like, he's, like, I, when, I spent a lot of energy trying to convince myself <laughs> and everyone around me that he actually was any good when he first came. I thought, yeah, no, listen, like, he, he gets involved, he likes to tackle, yeah. like, he can, he got a very crisp pass of the ball, but... He's actually rubbish. <laughs> I think the thing is, he's him, actually just useless. It's and like he, he adds no value. I saw. And, and the thing is, you know, you know when you have like your kind of like your old school, just like midfielder. Yeah. As in yeah. the, they're not defenders, they're attackers. Right. At least them kind of players, if you played in big games when you knew you weren't gonna have much of the ball, they would mm. be disciplined. Yeah. This fella, he, he's, he's more likely to get sent off than he is to do anything else. He's, he's, yeah. When we used to have <laughs> when we used to have Xhaka and Ramsey in the middle, like Ramsey would be playing, like you know what I mean. He, he'd be getting caught offside for some reason. He's playing as a striker. Xhaka's making challenges where he doesn't need to. Thought you were in. Yeah, Xhaka's doing too much. Like, oh god. I, I think it's quite telling of where Arsenal are at the minute because if you look at any good team, their spine is solid. Like, look at United. In a way, United. Like, like, good team. United. 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 You know, in a way, in a way, but it's Ferdinand. Schools, Vieira. Oh, yeah, you tell which team you know. Pete <laughs> supports everyone. You, you had a spine, you had a spine that you could rely on. Your defensive yeah. spine is Czech, Mustafi, Socrates, and Xhaka. <sighs> you know, well, how, how can you build a team around that? Well, when like Kashani like, comes back, there's maybe. barely a football. Yeah, what next year? Kashani doesn't have he's any not Achilles, back. mate. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's still better. They want to crutch Yeah, wheel him in now. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Right, Too Newcastle fair. back on the offensive. Have we got any uh, questions while? While the camera's on a picture just, of John Shelby's... Yeah. Very Lord Voldemort. Yeah. Um, Voldemort. I did just put a poll out about should Zaka be starting for Arsenal, and it's 73% for no. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, fairly... fairly a chance. Over, is he off? Is he overriding is he off? No. Oh, he's oh. on. Abemia has stayed oh. on. Yeah, yeah. and again, this isn't... Second. Good a good ball. Oh, oh, you don't really want him yeah. out there, you're ripping those balls exactly, in. Yeah. For Dortmund, he was an absolute shot monster inside the box, clearly where he feels most comfortable and peeling off to the left he can play across that front three can't he but you need uh, you need goals come on Nacho you scored three in your last two games you won't, you won't be able to tell uh, watching nah, this we, dross would you in the opening half an hour no. uh, not, you know. Will anything uh, happening in the other games just more lively than this just a couple of yellow cards Harry Maguire Maguire <laughs> Maguire Harry Maguire has gone in the book for Leicester um, yep. Huddersfield went why? Well, what's, what's old slab head then there? Uh, Callum Wilson coming through and it looked nastier than it was on, on first reflection, but he just stopped him uh, oh, at the flow. Oh, goodness uh, Del, Potro went, Del Potro went close for Huddersfield, but yeah, Chelsea dominating against Cardiff, but still haven't scored. So, And I watched the replay, Sol Bamba ran all the way to Neil Warnock for his celebration. Oh, no. Hugged, but embraced. And, uh, father and son. Just, it's just a nice moment. It's great <laughs> to see. A warm embrace. Love that. Neil Warnock, I, I think this Cardiff team could 
could fare worse than Billy Davis's Derby team. Yeah. No chance. Ooh, wow, that was a bad. That's less than twelve points. Oh, they were so bad. Oh, they I don't won. know where they got. That, yeah, that, like that year was was dark time yeah. for Derby. <laughs> when you've got Bobby Reid up front for Kenny yeah. Miller. I went to Derby with that. Yeah, I went to Derby where I think uh, Adebay all scored about 24 goals. Honestly, <laughs> 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 stop counting after six. Just absolutely ran a mock. Another dangerous ball in there from Yedlin. And... That, was, that, was a, that was the thing about Adebay all. There was a season, he was unbelievable. And then he got that, and then he got that new contract and he just changed. Did you know what it was? I think he scored 30 goals in a season. Yeah. Right, in all competitions. He said, well, I want, I want that kind of money. And, and then, he, and then, he, and then we like, actually got to him and then he yeah. just... He just you went, okay, yeah. good. So, what Arsenal player would you two take out of a past team to fix this current team? And well, oh, I mean, let's not go on, Rick. You've already oh, got I was about to say. You that. know, if Shaq, if you're moaning about Shaq, what midfielder would you bring back? Uh, uh, Patrick Vieira, oh, mate. If we, yeah. uh, you see, when you see when I see when I was a kid, like Patrick Vieira was my favourite player. Because the amount of times I'd see him just drag games that we had no right to win, and yeah. go, you know what? We are not losing today. And I just don't, I just do not see this in this crop of... Crop and organisation-wise, yeah. he would tell people, right, you need to be here, yeah. you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that. And the thing, the thing is, with Vieira, he was doing that from such a young age, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so, but again, the team he came into, there was a lot of leaders in there, so he could learn a lot. You know, you had your Adams, Bolds, all, all these kind of guys, you know, it's just... If you're a young player coming through this, it's like, you, you, you don't... Yeah, you're missing that. Yeah, you are kind of missing it. And don't be wrong, that's not an excuse, because it's still 11 players versus 11 players, you know what I mean? But just you want to see more, I just want to see... That, that's, that's why I was a little bit gutted when I, when I, when I, when I, when I saw like, Jack like, Wilshire leave, you know what I mean? Because as much as... Yeah. He, he, don't you loved him, though, didn't you? I, I did love Jack Wilshire. Yeah, I I mean, when I saw him as a kid, as well, well, when I was, he was a kid, whatever, when he was younger, <laughs> he was unbelievable. And then... Uh, He's not younger than you? What, he is younger than me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was unnecessary, yeah. It's a sting out of it, didn't it? Bloody hell, right, Dorman. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's been digging me out. Isn't it now? I'm getting back in this. What about you, Josh? Oh, come on! Hang on. Take your time. Take oh, what is that? That's me! <laughs> Who even is that? Uh, Ramsey. Oh, shock. Just Aaron composure. Ramsey. I like Aaron Ramsey. Why what, are you two what, hating what, on him? Like, like you just took a pigeon wear uh, What I like about Aaron Ramsey, he arrives... Just compose yourself. <laughs> I mean, he was your second top goal in the league last season. He's a diet Frank Lampard. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar free. I mean, that, that was poor. Oh. <laughs> that was... He's just... He concentrates too much on flicks and tricks. And yeah. Like, I don't know why he's dribbling into corners and blind alleys and... Just, I mean, the thing is, he's not as good as he thinks he is. No, if he just kept things simple. Mm, he's great. Yeah. He's great when he just goes quick five, ten, fifteen yards oh. passes. That's all right. What was Ooh, that? Wow. James Madison off the bar for Leicester. Ooh. He's getting closer. We've singled him out, so he's 100% going to not score today. <laughs> <laughs> this is right. better. This is, Talk, like, yeah. this is better for Talking to score in Lacazette is at five to one on Sky. Oh, but if you want to take yeah, a little I cheeky punt on Lacazette. I, five or quid. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen him all game <laughs> and you are running into blind alleys, like Josh yeah. said. But Aaron Ramsey trying his best to pick this Newcastle defence. What we need to do is put him back on the right. Let's put Ozil for the middle and let's, just, let's get Ozil the ball. Yeah, but right. what is the point of having Ramjo the right as well? Because he's just uh, another, it just adds no width. Like, he just comes inside. Emery's fuming. Yeah. I'd is he? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should be. Yeah. This has been I'm absolutely sure. woeful to watch. Well. And we picked this game because you're an Arsenal fan, Dave. I know, mate. So I hold you yeah. responsible. Can we, not just, can we not change it over to, <laughs> to like, the City game? <laughs> yes. You always guarantee goals <laughs> goals in that game. Come on, Dorman, let's have a couple more questions, mate. Um, there's a question from Alexander, and he has asked Is this current Man City team the best team Pep has ever managed? Ooh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, any so team like of Barcelona, seen it is, the, the, the 2008 the Barcelona team was ridiculous. 2008, no, 2010, 2010 Barcelona yeah, team. Yeah, I actually quite liked his first Barcelona team with with Yacht Tour hit centre back. That was quite yeah. robust. Oh, yeah. mm. That was like I, I think I had, they could play any which way. But what yeah, you're the, right. Uh, what was the Wembley final when they won? Was that the yeah, Wembley United? Yeah, yeah. 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 that was yeah, like, that team. They, they played us off apart. David Villa scored that. Close, Carla. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take on then. I mean, what, what do we, what do we make that? You know, you know that you know that team. Arsenal beat them in that actual Champions League stage or whatever it is. You know? <laughs> but we beat them two one. one yeah. yeah, that was great. Arshavi. Arshavi! Oh my god! I went. Oh, I was going off in the stands. It was great. Oh. In saying that, play, playing devil's advocate about City last year, you know, mm. people say the Premier League is the toughest league, and he went and did like unheard of things last year. You know, yeah, hundred points, most goals, most wins, most consecutive wins. You know. In terms of oh, achievements, I think no. they're up there. They, yeah. they might not be, the, in yeah. terms of like holistic, the best quality of team, but what he's been able to achieve from them. Yeah. And they did it without a 40-goal striker, yeah. so he's always had Messi in, in other great sides, you know, the Real Madrid's, uh, Mourinho's Real Madrid, Pellegrini's Real Madrid, you know, Ronaldo scoring 40-plus goals. Um, 
Uh, and you've just got like five or six guys who... Yeah, you've got like Raheem each. Sterling yeah. on the wing, chipping in with like 32 goal involvements across the season. They're, like, they're more than the sum of their parts, but the yeah. individuals are still incredible. Yeah, but I think that's the thing. I, I think, think they could give anyone a game. I, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think that's, that's actually quite scary about this, about this Man City. There's probably more to come from this Man City yeah. team. They're, they're young, you know what I mean? Yeah. They seem to... Anyone a game in terms of his, his other sides, I think that this Man City team would match up to, to yeah. his other sides. Yeah. But... Any more questions? That was a good one, mate. Well done. Uh, I'm just looking now. And guys, don't forget to get at us on Twitter at Football Daily UK or at Soccer AM with the hashtag the Football Social, and we will answer your questions live on air. Uh, the next question has come from Stephen. Go, Bournemouth! Sorry, sorry, Dom. Sorry, yeah. That's rude, but it's cool. Uh, yeah, sorry, That's mate. Rude. It's uh, Callum Wilson's gone through. Oh, yeah? Sorry, Ryan Fraser again, the Thierry Henry-esque uh, Scottish-born <laughs> player. Yeah. Uh, it's gone through. I think it was a ball. He might slightly be offside, but he slid it under Casper Schmeichel. 2-0 oh, to Bournemouth. Uh, uh, Hazard and this is Hazard just bagged as well. Hazard scored Hazard. for Chelsea as well. Oh, it's yes. all kicking Bob. off in the other games. Why? Come on, Will, mate. <laughs> Come this on. Is, get to grips with it. Right, uh, Hazard totally has Hazard scored. scored. Uh, I'm just going to have to watch the replay to catch up on that one. No problem. Uh, Etheridge looking oh. dejected. He'd been put into some good saves. Go on. Sorry, Will. No, it's all right, mate. I'm waiting for this replay to come in. Too many goals. <laughs> it's a lovely goal from Ryan Fraser, and this isn't good for Leicester because no. not, uh, not a lot of people are Puel fans at current at the King Power. I tell you what, it's not good for Chris, the accumulator. Yeah, we're done for that. Um, yeah, replays done. coming in now, nice bit of exchange on the edge of the box, low oh. drive, right in, the, right in the corner, hits the side net, and you're not going to save it there. Up. Hazard at his best, 1 1 Chelsea. He has started the season. He, he's so someone I think going to really push him. He had a fantastic World Cup as well. Oh. I mean, if you're Eden Hazard, you must be. Very excited at the prospect of finally playing under an attack minded coach. Yeah. One for the, come on, Jacques. Conte. Yeah. Come on. Oh, One for the Arsenal fans as well. Giroud uh, involved. There's definitely in the second goal, but some great link up mm. play as well. So. Uh, Sammy rested him at the Crystal start of the Palace season. have scored. Oh. Sorry. Oh, oh, hello. No, please. Oh, nobody nobody talk. There's too oh, many goals. Uh, Wilfred Zahar scored for Crystal Palace. Well, he's in my dream team. Um, oh, is he? Oh, yeah. I think he's in mine. He was a 75% doubtless. Well. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. What a dis uh, but I think I just went for the replay again. Too many goals trying to catch up with it. Uh, it's all booting off in the other game, lads. I'm looking at you, Dave. Mate, uh, this is shocking. <laughs> but, <laughs> just I, 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 I'll be honest, I'm actually happy that we're not, that we're not actually losing. Because, like, this is... You know, oh, sorry. We will definitely win this game. It's just, just got to be a bit patient. I think Will's got the game. Will's got the goal, sorry. Zahar scored an absolute screamer. Cuts inside in the box on his right foot. Not as good... You remember that Harry Kane goal oh. against, sorry, <laughs> Arsenal? Yeah. A bit, bit more in, but... Um, Go on. Yes, yes, on. yes, attack it! Oh. No. I see the comparison, Will. I see the comparison. It's a bit closer time, in, but you see what I'm around. getting at. Yeah, the yeah. angle's a bit friendly, but... So we've got two players there, Eden Hazard and Zaha, who, who may well have their best individual seasons yet. Hazard, 5-5 five and five for club and country. Will, what do you make of his start? Are you, are you a big fan what of his? That? Really Mate. like him. Was very, very surprised that he didn't make the move to Real Madrid in the yeah, summer, and um, they managed to keep hold of him. But like we were talking about, some dark horses for the top, top four. Could they could keep pushing on? 100% record so far? Yeah. Still got a perfect record then. And they'd like uh, not Liverpool. having Champions League football as well. And so. Watford, yeah. So, Dorman. yeah, no, I like it. Uh, question here from Stephen, and he has asked, who will be the breakout star of the year in the Ooh. Premier League? James Madison. <laughs> Are you his agent? What's going yeah. on? <laughs> I cannot confirm, nor deny. <laughs> um, breakout stars. I mean, I have been impressed with the way Richarlison has taken to life at Everton, but... I mean, can you call him a breakout star after a fifty million pound move? I'm not so mm. sure. Um, gents, do we have? We need to get, we need to get Bamiyan for the middle. I don't really care about breakout <laughs> star, mate. This is this is doing heading. I mean, I I would I would put my heart into um, Ryan Sessegnon. Okay. Um, he obviously tore it up in the championship last year. First ever player to be nominated for the young uh, player of the year from the championship. Film haven't had a fantastic start. You know. Had a baptism of fire, kind of. But I think of that team, he is. At, yeah. He's at at 17, just turned 18. He's that like spark of that yeah. team. He's going to be on, the he, crux he, of their he, attack. He, they're rotating him though with Vieto. I think Jukanovic has handled him quite well at the start yeah. of this season because he doesn't want to put too much responsibility on his shoulders. But yeah, I mean the fact that he almost he was on the peripheries of like the England yeah. setup was uh, from the championship yeah, film team was crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I also think because he's so young, you need to you need to manage him and not burn him out before he's even had a chance to hit his peak. Yes, yes. Hello. 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 Yes. Oh. Deliver. Deliver. Oh, hit it. Oh, Josh, take us for the build up, mate. Oh, we've got the ball wide. Hecky B's supposed to Hecky deliver B. it into the box. <laughs> and it's kind of popped around a little bit like pinball and 
You're going to oh, see them. Yeah. Oh, oh, there there we go. Go. That is meaty. Who was that, that Socrates? Is, is that Socrates? Socrates? Of course yeah. I was. I think he would probably... There's, sorry, Chris, there's a penalty at Bournemouth and it could be 3-0. Oh, never apologise, Will. <laughs> I'll, I'll never job, win again. Mate. You say that now, you'll be wanting apologies later. Uh, Ricardo handball, I think, on the edge of the area. Looks a bit dicey, but the referee's okay. given it. And I think it's Josh King stepping up. <laughs> um, not giving Ryan Fraser the hat-trick. This mm. is absolutely shambolic from Leicester. What is going on? The accumulators off. My second picked, team, William. Whoever picked Leicester to win should have a long oh, look at themselves. No. It's 3-0. Um, <laughs> But I don't know, it's 3-0. <laughs> Josh King, Ryan Fraser When was the last two. time Bournemouth scored three? Hang Against on. Chelsea in the last season, probably. Oh, but yeah, they're going, they're going for absolutely Leicester. absolutely wild. Who like, did pick Leicester? Was it you, Chris? No, it wasn't me. That was me, sorry. No. Oh, but, um, oh, big but you I should have taken a hit there for you, Will. As the no, yeah, yeah. That would have been the, <laughs> you could have done that, mate, the right thing nice. to do, but... But you can't but still get 10-1 on Mesut Ozil to be first goal scorer, right? It's 12-1, to one, actually. 12-1, to one. that's definitely It's probably 20-1 to one now, because this is an absolute joke so far, David. Um... A couple of decent bit, build, patches of build-up play in the last five minutes, but that's, that, that's it really. Knocking it around here, quite lackadaisical at the back. Where's that energy yeah, that I is token in, in an Unai Emery side? I remember when he first went to PSG. Oh, no. My. Ah, the most noticeable difference he brought to PSG was the intensity, and you're, you're severely lacking it here. Just don't have the players. Bro. Yeah, I feel, I feel like we've got a few uh, square pegs and round holes here at the moment. I think he's trying to fit players in. You know, I think Mesut Ozil is our most creative player and we've got him playing out on the left or whatever it is. Aubameyang is definitely our best goal scorer. As much as I like, uh, like, 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 like I said, and we've got him playing on the left as well. So we've got two players playing on the left, so maybe Ozil's playing on the right. I, I, either way, we've got two players that are not playing in a natural position. But also, I got, what's, frustrating. Like, this season, that has been the argument that has been put forward, being like... the. Arsenal aren't suited, the squad isn't suited to the system. So at what point does Ermey cut and run in that he just has to concede that his system isn't going to work with the squad well, and he has to play to his strengths, the squad's strengths? Yeah, that goes back to the conversation we were having earlier, yeah. isn't it, about Neville's argument and Carrick's argument. I think he, he should be, regardless of playing personnel, should be trying, if he believes in this system, trying to introduce it now. That's why Gendouzi's getting minutes. I mean, and that's, that's been one of the positives about Arsenal's start of the season, isn't it? And you have, yeah. they have won the last two games, admittedly. Um, Goal at Stamford Bridge. Sol Bamba and Neil Warnock, uh, boys. Hazard has uh, oh, done him in, and it's 2-1. Done him in. <laughs> done him in. <laughs> Back at it, Eden. Yeah, yeah. Is it oh, a good goal? No, it was very, very scrappy. No <laughs> comparisons this time. Oh, it was God. just uh, a six-yard box bouncing around. Hazard's put it underneath the keeper. Mm. So, uh, yeah, the shock is off. Oh, no. uh, Chelsea 2-1. Who'd have thought it? Cardiff actually, you know, weren't going to hold out 70 minutes for the victory. Uh, yeah, who'd have thought it? <laughs> um, we're approaching half-time now. We're in the 42nd minute, and I'm, I'm really struggling, struggling for positives that day from an Arsenal perspective. Yeah. Uh, they've really, they've let oh, Newcastle half, muddy oh, up this oh, game. Look at the space. Hello. Down this left-hand side. Where is Bayer in? Oh, no. Oh, no, he's put him on his bum. Down. Oh, God. Perez, oh. back post, oh. Marici. Oh! That was really good. I don't want to rub it into... Uh, Nacho Monreal again. That's shredding a the, fine line there. But again, that's again Bellerin. Gordon Ramsay at the back post. The back. <laughs> <laughs> that's great shot. You said Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, that. I don't want to rub it into Dave and Josh, but uh, Olivia Giroud with his second assist of the game. <sighs> Ooh. Great. What yeah, is Mustafi? Yeah, yeah. He's an assist there. merchant, there. He's, he's just stopped yeah. scoring, hasn't he's he? He's the perfect but, um, target, man. Oh. I think he got his first goal in 10, actually, for France the other day, so well done, oh, Olivier. Well, One it. more question, then, before uh, you know, this half-time whistle puts us out of our misery. Yeah. Yes, the... Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's not an only positive question, but... <laughs> what sure. is Arsenal's future since they have already an old squad and most of them... And they don't have many prodigies coming through the academy? Well, what does it mean? Where's the coming through? Who you got? Is that fellow... Um, Reece Nelson? No, well, we've got him. He's, he's gone to half and half what was it I, at half time? I tell you, he's uh, a little like kind of blonde kid. I don't know his name. Uh, what about Maitland Niles? who started against Maybe Manchester City. Yeah, he, he, uh, he's he a very central good. midfielder. Started at left back, what's, didn't what's he? What's his name? I follow him on Instagram. Yeah, you know he did really well. Emma Rose. Emma Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so wonder you were ticking. Uh, yeah, I could almost hear it. Smashed it. Ding, ding, ding. Back in the last season, had a really good stint at left back. He's a good player, man. He's a good footballer. He's probably a little bit wasted at left back, but much like Zinchenko at City, that's where he needs. If he's going to get minutes, yeah. Is probably going to have to be in these centre roles. When at what point does he step up? How do you expect him to step up in the central midfield role? 
four or five well, seasons down the line I if think, he's been playing yeah. left back for three seasons. Well, I think I think at this stage, it's, it's completely it's, different. It, if he can just get Premiership minutes, minutes it's absolutely fantastic. Mm. And then when, because no, throughout the season we are definitely going to have a few injuries, and then if he can try and claim that, is it half time? Is it yeah. shambles? Mm. <laughs> so the half time whistle is gone. It's not oh. been an only forty-five, but things can only get better. It's, it's true. It's true. Things yeah. can only get, get better. better. Yeah, but at least we're not losing. Hamill. <laughs> Right. Right. We've gone from we're going to win 5 nil to at least we're going to Yeah, 5 nil. that was bugged. Yeah, the scenes at half-time. And look at that, Scunthorpe beating Wimbledon 2 nil. I think I would have rather watched that game than this game. But we go again for the second half. And we have a video coming your way soon, guys. Still gone at Stanford Bridge. Pleasure. Go on, Cardiff. No, rubbish. <laughs> How's it on hard trick? Well, then. Um, any more questions, though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, there is a lot of hate for Arsenal at the minute. Yeah. Right. Con Conor McSherry, lads, do you think Ozil is overrated? N no. 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 I mean, if you ask a Michelin starred chef to go and fry chicken in KFC, he can only, he can only do at that level, yeah. and that's what we're doing. So, so, so you're and saying, you're saying people he, can understand. He's and that's a, why the other people. He's you know, limited by <laughs> Arsenal. Yeah, of course. Yeah, look at me. Look at his teammates that he had at Real Madrid, and look what he did, and then look what he's come to Arsenal. And so he's, he must be sat there in training, going, "You're really quite you're rubbish." <laughs> <laughs> so, so then, what's next for him if, if he's limited by Arsenal? He has to leave. Yeah, but where can he go? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Where can his stocks kind of dropped a little bit? People are kind of questioning him now. And mm -hmm. then you know, he's like what Dortmund maybe, like yeah. Bayern potentially can't go Barcelona really. Like, where where is he going to go? Yeah. PSG. Probably. I think if like a big Turkish club come and go, right, it's 60 million, I'd say, right, come on. Mate. Yeah, you know what, maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, we're just um, waiting for the other games to come to an end before we go over oh, to our the video we've got for everyone. Guy, right? offside, is and it? is anything happening in the dying embers of these games, Will? So Raheem Sterling's just had a shot save, weaved his way through, uh, went for a corner, corner's come in, it's gone in, but it's offside, so it's still 2-0 to Manchester City going into half-time against Fulham. Nothing else elsewhere. Obviously, that massive shot down. No, not a shot, but 3-0 half-time to Bournemouth. The uh, Crystal Palace winning 1-0 at Huddersfield. And, obviously, Chelsea have turned it around against Cardiff, 2-1. So, yeah. All right, so we're at half-time now for Bournemouth, Leicester, 3-0. This is not good news for Puel at all. I mean, he's just about keeping, you know, the Wolves at bay by beating Wolves, didn't, didn't deserve didn't deserve to at all in that game when they beat them 2-0 at home. Wolves were by far the better side. Uh, a victory against Southampton as well was rather unconvincing. So, let's see if, uh, you know, if he, can, he can, can survive till Christmas, William. There's mm. only one man for the job. Oh, yeah. Ray Shakespeare needs to come back. <laughs> Shakespeare. The assassin the himself the needs to come back. All right. Fair play. Right, have we got... Oh, right, we're not going to get to all these questions because it's half-time now in the Manchester City game and David Silva there, you know, ordering his team about. Yeah. You, you'd definitely take words of wisdom from that man, wouldn't you? Aiden Hazard there. Sol Bamba, more importantly. Our man at the moment. Yeah. They'll, I mean, they'll be embracing that half-time, but a little bit disappointed that they haven't kept him out. Etheridge had some good saves as well, but, um, yeah, Chelsea very much on top since the goal. This is actually Hazard's yeah, first yeah, race why is he not starting since games? February. Wow. So, bang in form. Talking of banging form, Wilf Zaha, get him in your team. Oh, hello, Lucas Torreira we're seeing as well on the pitch at half-time. It's become a little bit habitual at the start of the season that he comes on for, for Xhaka in like the 60th minute. Why isn't he just starting? Because Xhaka will, be all, will definitely be on a yellow card by then. So <laughs> bring him off. Do you think it's a fitness thing? I think he kind of came in late, didn't he? Yeah. Like, he's like, you're, you're a guy to put decent World Cup, well, OK World Cup, and he kind of kept coming late, and Guendouzi and Xhaka had the spots, so then you kind of need to play that way until you come out of form, but Xhaka's not in form, so get him out. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I really like Lucas Torreira as well. It was great for Sampdoria last season. He's been OK, he's blowing hot and cold since he's come in, but it, it must be finding it hard to adjust getting 20 minutes here yeah. or there. Um, let's go over to our accumulator for a quick update, because Shandles. we're not faring very well, are we, William? Starting with you, mate. Well, I mean, who could have seen that? I mean, Ryan Fraser turned into to Thierry Henry, and uh, Bournemouth are 3-0 up at half-time, so... I would think Leicester four three comebacks the only logical thing that can happen. <laughs> Dorman, I like the way they've actually changed up the Dorman now as well. <laughs> <laughs> Quality work from the yeah. graphics team. Yeah. That is brilliant. Uh, yeah. Dave, yeah, winning. I said they would. So called it absolutely. Uh, home win, pretty elementary stuff there for Manchester City. Always going to be uh, likely to be goals in that game because Fulham playing very openly, aren't they? Sticking to the guns at the start of the season. And Josh, I've got to say, you've 
I mean, you picked yeah. Arsenal, but... We'll yeah, I, I wait, we will win this game. Yeah. Still retain yeah. faith. I think that it's going to be a, a stinky 1-0. So yeah, yeah I mean, uh, that would be an Arsenal result, to not deserve it, but, but this grand Perfect. one. I'll yeah. take that. You know, I think that, 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 that game's got a draw written all over it. Nah. nah. No, no, Newcastle have been the better team. We, we're going to score. Uh, I've, I've yeah, but I, yeah, I think you're going to score, and I don't see Newcastle scoring. Fair Even enough. enough. Well, on that bombshell, we're going to go over to teammates with Smithy, who interviewed Nick Pope this week. Let's have it. Matt Loughton, uh, James Kartowski, every, every way trip, PlayStation's so packed. It's mainly games, consoles, iPads. Yeah, yeah. Any, any lads take anything a bit different, a bit rascal? Not that I've seen, but I suppose they'd hide it, wouldn't they? No, nah, not that I've seen, not seen, uh, not seen okay. anything too rascal. But PlayStation's uh, that's probably the biggest bit of kit that you know, goes to the away games. Oh, I think, uh, probably a few to be fair, a lot of tracksuits going around. Um, a couple of good ones. Anders Lindegaard the other day, we had a, a picture of him in the group. Uh, he looked like uh, Woody off Toy Story. So <laughs> okay. that, uh, that went down fantastic. Had the pointy boots on. If he just had the hat, he'd, had, he'd have been the whole out. So he wasn't trying to dress like Woody, no, he just he looked just, like Woody. Just, yeah, the you know, spray on jeans and uh, the big boots, yeah. When he comes in looking like Woody, how do the other lads react? No, just friendly. We're friendly right. banter, yeah, but yeah, let him know. <laughs> <laughs> Woodburner, Chris Wood. Yeah. He's got his... See that? Yeah. The Deli Alley. The Lingard. No, it's supposed to be a nine, I think. Oh, right, OK. I think that's how he sees it. Unless yeah. you could have, that could be a shout. He could have been the first person Shirt to come to that camera that. there? Yeah, like that. That looks right. That is Woody's celebration. But he kisses it as well. OK. But, yeah. What about, keep, what about keepers? There's a lot, a lot of great keepers. Yeah, well, yeah, but, I mean, do, you, do, you, do you do any... Do you practice any celebrations if you make a great no, save? It'd be great like, to see, wouldn't it? Yeah. A keeper celebrating Maybe after making a good save. Stuff, but I don't think, like, I think as a goalie, you're worried. Like, if you make a celebration, then they score a minute later. So <laughs> like, outfield players don't worry about that sort of stuff. <laughs> so it's more a mental thing. Like, if you make a save or, or anything, you, know, you try and keep calm. So you make a save, it goes out for a corner. Yeah. And you celebrate, and they score from the corner. You look like... Do you know what I mean? Bit of an idiot. <laughs> really, good, really good point. Charlie Taylor, nailed on. Straight away with that answer. Straight, yeah, nailed on just everything from late or, you know, not having the right socks on with his tracksuit. Hang on a minute, you've got, you have to have the right socks on? You have Puma socks, yeah. White socks. Do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we've got the, the trainers as well. But if, if someone's getting fined, like, so we have the, the spins at the end of the week and uh, the board spins around, so no one knows who's got what sort of fine. But right. Y he's guaranteed two a week, I think. So you have a board with it and it just spins to so, say. Like, no, so you have the board and then. Yeah. Uh, pictures that will be put in the group. So if someone's seen you with the wrong socks on, yeah. they've taken a picture without you knowing. And then without you knowing, it spins around on the you know the projector screen. Wow. So then you know, you've got to then face the... It's a lot of effort. Jury. So if there's any like disputes, there's a little jury as well. <laughs> so then you've got to face the jury. Hang a minute, who's on the jury? So you rotate it every week, there's five lads. Right. So squad number. So it just keeps going around, like, keeps circling. So you all have yeah. a go at being on the jury for the fines? Yeah, yeah. And then, like, and then it, if it lands on you, you're part of the jury and you decide like, like, the finest system. So the, the jury's, like, set up before the start of, like, spins, you call it. Right, OK. So and when something comes on the board, but then sometimes people who are on the board are then in the jury. <laughs> so they've got a spare vote, then. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of attention like, to detail yeah, in this yeah, finest system. Yeah, it's good, yeah, it's good laugh. And, you know, I've had some uh, real, real good ones in over there. Ben me for training and, and games. Like if, if something, if something, if he's on your team and you're doing something wrong, yeah, he's letting you know. Even though you know, Ben, Ben will let you know and he'll put in a good challenge for you as well. Uh, Phil Bardsley. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, he's the one looking at your squad. I wouldn't want to be yeah. playing against. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you're on his team. <laughs> so uh, Fridays we have like a bit of tournament um, every every week. So three teams rotate round. One team on the outside, two playing. Uh, yeah, you want Phil on your team. Like, day for a game, <laughs> he's, you know, he's a trainer who plays, you know, and that's yeah. the way it should be. And he's a great squad member, so that's a great example. But, yeah, if I was a winger on a weekend and I was looking at him, like, you're thinking, yeah, game. And off the pitch as well, you, you wouldn't yeah. want to mess with me either, would you? Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes without saying. Stephen Defoe. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, just, no, uh, he's one and player that can, you know, produce that bit of magic. Uh, in his boots to you know, open the game or, or score a goal that you know you won't see like uh, Bristol City um, year before last scoop scoop one over the goalie like chip was and then a free kick at Old Trafford as well mm. last year with like two like you no know, you sit back after you think 
yeah, the yeah. boy can play. <laughs> so yeah, he's um, yeah, top top draw. All the lads are, you know, we've got a good group. Obviously, Gaff's been there a long time, so you know, if you don't go on with Gaffer, you don't often stick around too long. I don't think in, in most places, but. Um, no, Matt Loughton maybe is a new contract every year for the last three years, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's always in the news on the website, he's got a new contract, so yeah, Matt Loughton maybe. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm up there. If, yeah. we'd like, if it was like a general knowledge quiz, I think most players want me on my team. Mainly because, not because I'm great, it's just the other lads are a bit, <laughs> a bit short, I think. So I'm what you're saying is not because you're particularly intelligent, not because but I'm great, the competition yeah. isn't yeah. brilliant. I'd say so, yeah. Um, we do a crossword, hour word in the morning, a few of us, so that, that would probably be the intelligent table. Uh, hang on a minute. You do, you do what? You do a crossword, arrow word? Like an arrow word, yeah, so... What, so explain what happens in that. So, just a, like a one-line clue. Right. You know, fill, fill in the gaps, there's like two pictures in the corner, like celebrities. And this is the no, whole no. Burnley squad? No, it's just like the, the intelligent table, yeah. <laughs> You've uh, got an intelligent table? <laughs> say, that's what it is now, I think. Who's yeah. on the intelligent table? So, I'd say Lee's lot, probably, so that'd be Matt Loughton, Jack Cork, uh, chips in quite a lot. Uh, ben Mee as well, he's, yeah. um, he's quite intelligent. He's, he's one with a book on the away game. Right. So I, I put him, he's up there as well. And you, and you have crosswords, you have a go like at crosswords? Like an arrow word, yeah, just right. a cup of tea in the morning. Nice, yeah. very, very nice that. And, yeah, you, and you, win, yeah. you win that regularly? Uh, complete it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't send it away for the uh, thousand pound. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we have, we, have, we have a good go at completing it yeah, most times, yeah. The chef as well, to be fair. Yeah. If, if we're short, sure. I think he Googles it in the, in the kitchen, but he comes out and all the... He has the answer somehow. Charlie Taylor, Ashley Barnes, just, you know, to, to let, uh, yeah, Robbie Brady, still not got a driving licence, so he's automatically in there. Never <laughs> driven. He's been in the country, what, 10 years? <laughs> so he's got to be, uh, he's got to be in there as well. Not just for his driving, just he's, he's, uh, not the smartest, I'd say. You know, if lads went back and done the GCSEs, uh, there'd be Fs all over the place, <laughs> okay. I think. Um, Charlie Taylor, just brilliant about him, uh, like, we had lads uh, last December, November time telling him about the uh, underfloor heating in the pitch, saying, no, all the other pitch is covered in snow. Like, no, can't train anywhere else, so we train near. And as we're warming up to train, go, it's, uh, it's weird, lads, isn't it? You know, if you, if you get down close and, you, you know, you really press into the pitch, you can feel the heat coming off. So Chaz is on his knees straight away, like, pushing, like, getting his ear close to it, trying to feel for the heat. <laughs> and all the lads just, like, fall over laughing, just, like, watching him, so... Yeah, he's a great person to have in the dress room. Trying to warm himself up. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Johan Berg Goodmanson, he's always in there. He's always something not in his role. Or there's something he needs in a match that's not quite right. So he's he's always in his ear, I'd say, uh, asking for something. Is that so. superstition or is that just... <laughs> I don't know, just I think he just needs something like... Right. Always, if, if it's not like something from the kit man, he'll be in the physio room passing for tape or something. So he'll be, uh, he'll be always uh, the one asking for things, yeah. Go Jeff Hendrick, yeah. Kevin Long, what's two he, what's Irish he lads. Popping out. Yeah, just no, a bit of rhythm. Whereas, you no, know, got quite a few big stiff lads like myself. <laughs> <laughs> Worst answer then. Yeah, so, yeah, so we'd, I'd be up there, big uh, Sam Vokes as well, just a bit stiff. Um, you and Vokes are you putting there? Yeah, I think so. If you had a dance like, off. No, do you know what they'd be like? I could, there'd be 10 or 12 of us, I think. So if you and Vokes had a dance off? He'd win. Yeah, probably him, yeah. Really? So I'd say me, yeah. Wow, OK. So you know if any of other lads were doing this, yeah. they would say me. Would they? Yeah, I think so. So oh, I'll, right. I'll say me and put myself out there. Very honest. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Nick, top man. No Thanks worries. for your time. Cheers, Cheers for having me. Thank no you. Worries. Not sure about Nick's, Nick Pope's uh, <laughs> quote there about being one of many big stiff men at <laughs> Burnley, but we'll just kind of... Let's just skate over that. Uh, let's revisit the game. The guys are out on the pitch at St James's. Arsenal first. Um, th thoughts at half time now you've had a moment to reflect. Starting with you, Dave Jackson. Okay, they're not getting the, like we're, a bit, we're just too slow with the build up. We've got to get a, a much more pace. We need to get them all quicker into us. To me, right now, Mesut Ozil is the key. We have to get him on the ball. With is he playing? Exactly. Yeah, we just, we just it's, it's, it, it, everything, everything, everything just needs to be quicker. Everything's yeah. got to be quicker, you know. Yeah. Then is that what we're saying? I think that we are. We can only get better. That's what I'm going to say <laughs> right. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it that. PG. <laughs> can only get better. Family friendly. Where is on now? Feedback. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and who's he come on for? Because if it's Xhaka, he might as well just start oh, no. the next yeah. game. I ain't going to be going doozy. He keeps getting the yeah, yeah. That's what he does, but he's been one of our best players. Yeah, but he consistently takes him off. 
for, no, think, for and then ends up playing Torreira I, and Xhaka. We hear essentially the same player. Yeah, again, right, again, Gendouzi and Torreira. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six. You have a oh, yeah. Chris, who's, who's you come on for? Are you not there? If you're a man, you're man in, in the producer yeah. studio thing, whatever it is. <laughs> I want to know who's come off, basically. <laughs> All right. can, uh, can we clarify who's come off earlier? You know, they've not actually made the substitution yeah. yet, Jack. Right? Oh, okay. oh, sorry, to me. Mr. Producer. Right, right. Terrell's come on now for. for... Uh, is he going to I don't know. Pretty, pretty right, I'm pretty sure that we're pretty sure he just he just shook Jack's hand. Did he, did he actually? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just shook uh, Jack is still on. Dave Jackson, Jackson is going to be devastated. Right. If it's not, if, 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 if it's no not clarification, 20, yeah. Yeah, we're we're all we know is is on the pitch. Yeah. Right, we've kicked off then. All we know is Torreira oh, is so on. I'm playing with 12 men at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we need another one. <laughs> Come on, this is better already. Three passes together. I like it. <laughs> we started with the ball. <laughs> All right, can Torreira make the difference? He's definitely got that snap, that bite in central midfield. He's a bit more of a driving force, isn't he? He wins the ball back in very oh, good areas. Oh, oh, yeah. So what, Gendouzi's off? Gendouzi's off. Gendouzi is off. All right, we're going over to Bournemouth now. Ryan Fraser, there he is, the Scottish Messi. <laughs> Just hear it on read. Yeah, yeah, so many sorry, times. Mate, come on, get it right. <laughs> no, mate, you've been used to it. He's gone down to that, mate. He's gone on to the next level. Yeah. Still... Leicester haven't really been this porous this season and one of the sort of Puel's hallmarks is keeping it quite tight at the back and you know he's accused of playing game. accused of playing wait well, I got a full Nick Pope there <laughs> um, accused of playing a boring brand of football wasn't he but 3-0 to be fair I watched them get the first game of the season at Old Trafford looked very decent it took Madison off I keep mentioning Madison's I am not his <laughs> yeah. just to clarify I thought they looked really good I, as much as they were decent I think United were very poor that game yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. United made them look good They've got some good players like Ricardo Pereira, right back, Damari Gray, Ben Chilwell kicking on, obviously Jamie Vardy. So Eddie Howe just keeps doing it at Bournemouth over and over again, doesn't he? And the man is out on the pitch there. Eden Hazard comes back onto the hallowed turf. Of, are they are they playing at the Stamford Bridge or? Yeah, they are, mate. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah, at Stamford Bridge. So um, Kepa, yeah. what do you boys make of uh, that £70 million move? Panic buy or not? Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, right, okay, right. It's not that he's not a good keeper, but he can be a good keeper, but also a panic buy. Courtois kind of forced their hand with that. Mm. And they overpaid for him, yes, but again, on the last day of the window, you need to overpay. His, his stock went up 30 mil because they knew Chelsea needed to get someone in the door. Don't think he's a bad keeper, but he's not 71 mil. Mm. He could be there so, yes, 10 years. All right, so if we're talking 70 mil, do you think this man, Wolf Zaha, is worth 70 Ooh. million? Because that's what he was quoted to be uh, costing when Spurs showed interest very late on in the transfer market. Graham Souness said he could see him playing for Real Madrid. <laughs> do we? Uh, what do we think to that, Josh? I've got I've got a couple of really good mates who are Palace fans, and I'm telling you that like, you can't say a bad word about Zara. Like he, <laughs> he is God. Like he's, he's he's something else. I think he's a quality player, and I think he, it didn't quite work out for him at United. But I, I do think that he could step up the levels. But he's loyal. Wow. He's, 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 he's loyal. He's loyal. He's loyal. Mate, he's a player. Just, what, can say, mate? what can I say? He's really loyal. If anything, he is so valuable to Palace. So it's not even like how much is he worth in like the general market. It's how much is he worth to Palace. Mm. Yeah. Like if they, if they, they lose can't him, replace him, they cannot replace him. Yeah. yeah, but then if he goes somewhere with a £70 million price tag, he's got that pressure on his shoulders to perform as a £70 million player, which I don't necessarily think he can do. Anyway, Arsenal started well. We've got free kick. The baron's been brought down. But please tell me he's all right. Eight in, uh, I like, I like eight in his last ten, Wolves are. You boys could use him. Don't you? Don't I wouldn't mind him. I think he's a quite an Arsenal player. He's a, he's a, really awesome player. He's a yeah. proper winger, isn't he? Yeah. Go out, he'll but like, that you know what? His consistency, I think, what we've always lacked, like a winger with consistency. Yeah. And like, you know, you don't want, you know, if you bring in Zyla, you're not, you're not buying consistency. You're not buying someone who's just. Like Valencia, super time, consistent. Bump, 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 you know what you're getting every single, every, you know what you're getting. He will hit the byline every single yeah. time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Twitter questions, please, Dorman, because apparently they've been pouring in at half-time. Yes, uh, there's a question here from Football Rodri, who has asked, how long do you think it will be until Arsenal get into the Champions League? Hashtag the football social. Go on, Josh, you take this one, mate. Uh, four years. Yeah? Four years. I think four seasons. I think four seasons. Four like, years. Yeah, a like, like, I just, it's a long time, but like, if you look at... Definitely should be on the pitch. Oh, what? Who said they should take it? Where has that come try? from? Wow. Where has that come from? Now watch me, Jack. I missed it. Mm -hmm. Granny, <laughs> right now. What oh, is a free? Oh, 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 oh,
Oh my! Oh, that is, that is class. It's also stolen. Oh, what to do? Who also stole it yeah. from a better comedian? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable! I'm actually speechless. Oh, Classic yeah. dorm in that comment. Yeah, I mean, it, it, Man it, City have scored as well. Sorry, oh, forget yeah. Man City. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. This is the main game. That's literally the best thing he's ever That's done. Ronaldo oh, ask against Spain. What is going on? There's been a goal at City. Goals galore. Will. Raheem Skirt. 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 Raheem Sterling has scored for Manchester City. Down the right hand side. Uh, where is he? Is he cutting in here? He gets down to the byline. I think he's at the back post. Aguero's cross. Tap in. Easy as you like. He won't get an easier goal all season. Um, but yeah, Man City 3 0 now. The Manchester City machine right. goes rolling on, but yeah. you're off to a star here, lads. Yeah. Maybe this is, this, is this is the Arsenal we know and love. This is the Arsenal we know and love. You needed a set piece, oh. but oh, it's, it's come. Ah, oh, bollocks. What, what a free kick that was uh, as well. Cool stuff going on down here. What's happened? No, I've just Absolutely I've got swimming. <laughs> Uh, we have to apologise for true. Dave's choice of words, but <laughs> it, it des des describe the situation quite aptly because <laughs> it's uh, yeah. mm. spilled a whole water down there. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to skate over that. Oh. Unai Emery, he loves it. Look at him. Nice, even. One of these ones, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Back in the Newcastle are. Now, now Newcastle have to come out a little bit, don't yeah, they? They, they can't be as deep. As soon as you get a goal against Newcastle, it, it does bode very well because... The game plan's all about, you know, staying in the game until 70, 80 yeah. minutes. I think also, I think we'll actually kind of relax a bit now. What, you, in the studio? Yeah, in the studio. <laughs> yeah. no, Less stressed. Come on. Oh, good. All right, so, so Jack has got a goal. All we need is Ramsey to get a goal, and then you boys... Well, <laughs> Great Happy tackle day. from Jack today. Arsenal, it's fan, the Arsenal fan bingo. Mm. There we go. OK, now Czech's got the ball. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> it's, it's, and it is now... And it's now Look at that new Panic time, Jack. There's yeah. no one off. <laughs> How oh, can Lionel not start ahead of him, though? Like, honestly. Oh, I don't get it. Like, I don't know what... Look I can at that you know spray in it, mate. <laughs> Look at the speed. That was a yeah, thing you to put on the burners just to it's, get on the end of the... He's the worst... Oh, 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 Hello. Oh. A lovely little ball toss. there. David Luiz-esque. Talking to David Luiz, what's going on in the other games? Not Raz? too much. Claude Puel uh, barking orders on the sidelines for... Oh, oh and there's yeah. a... Go on. Very tight. Go on. Hang on. Bend it. Back to the game what in hand. What is this, man? Um, Koviac has gone down and a very tanned uh, Ross Barkley. Josh, was he joining you in the villa? Can you confirm or deny that over <laughs> he, summer? He, he's more Alex than Josh, I think, at this time. He's a bit burnt. Yeah, yeah. He's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, he's a bit on. Yeah. Yeah. He's not been playing, we all know he might have been on the beach. Have a dig. That's Lucas Torreira. Doesn't mind a little. Yeah. Shot from range, does he? Newcastle, uh, they're at six and seven. Let's see, this is great. They're flapping. I tell you what, Kovacic, if, he, if, after, if after bad injury, that's a big loss for Chelsea. Yeah, not happy at all when he was uh, was getting back up, walking off unassisted, clapping mm. the fans. This is reminding me a little bit of that West Ham game, like where we ended up winning quite convincing end, but we yeah, made it was very such yeah, hard yeah. work. Like it doesn't need yeah, well, to be this yeah. difficult for us. Right, West, West Ham opened the scoring, didn't they? Yeah, I'm thinking what was going three one. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that just kind of seems the Arsenal way at the minute, is to make it an uphill battle from the first minute. Oh, yeah. Get the result in the end, but, you know, the way you get there is very questionable. It was a time under Wenger as well, like when we, literally we didn't start playing until we went 1-0 down. 1-0 down, yeah. yeah. Oh, go I on, mean, go on. Wait, surely that's something from the manager, and that you get your players prepared from minute one. You get yourself... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Newcastle now trying their hand at playing dangerously from out the back. Oh, well, like, well in. I didn't realise that last season was, was Wenger's worst season in terms of, of losses. 13 Premier League games lost. I think you only won three of, of 30 or something Premier League games. Uh, we, away. We, won, we, won, we won one away, one away last season. One game. Yeah, you, we so got three, point, three away points last year. Yeah. Yeah. It was just stupid. It was, I think, yeah. if, that if, might be fake news. If it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was quite as bad as that, but I think if, so, if yeah. the league table was just on away form, you were like 15th. Yeah. But then again, your home form was second really good, yeah. to City. So really, yeah. Yeah. You know? I can I can confirm here. I, uh, you've lost you lost three of the last thirty three Premier League <laughs> away games. Away games. I think you had, nearly basically three uh, points uh, from there. I think you had the second best home form after Manchester City. Yeah, literally, well and, said. yeah, literally. Oh, really? Yeah, well, well, I, I make a habit of not really listening to you, to be honest. So <laughs> I mean, sorry, yeah, I, I blocked mean... you out. Have we got any other questions? Let's go. Um, Interesting question here from Don. Is Coppola. it? Will Granite Jacker win the ball? No, it is. Who, who would you rather fight, Virgil van Dijk or Costel Pantillamon? Oh, Where's Pantillamon come from? I don't know. He's not even relevant. He's just massive, isn't he? Yeah, well, I mean, who would you rather fight? They're both they're kicked both me into orbit. You, you've yeah. got... You're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I think if we had to pick someone to... 
No, we'll definitely <laughs> win it. Uh, if we had to pick <laughs> someone really to, you know, to face up Virgil van Dijk from this group, it would be you. So, do you fancy your chances against Virgil? Uh, no he's tall, man. Way. He's tall. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to be really injured. He's got a large man. He's got a large man. Well. I'd have to do the old Mike yeah. Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you need to like, get on the inside yeah. and take away his range. But what I do, I'll be punching his knees. It's not really his. He's literally got everything, isn't he? He's not tall. He's just... And the, an absolute machine. You, you could just win by a ruptured ACL. <laughs> yeah, just, just, work, just work the entire Just chip away at his yeah. Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good. Yes, I like this. No. Oh, Arsenal no, in there with a chance. And talking of chances, now's your chance to bet on Jacker to score a brace. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 14 to 1. Show me the money. Come on. Lovely. Right. Presenter 101. 14 to 1. It's class. Yeah. Uh, when just was the last time Jacker scored a brace? Stats, man, get oh, that up for me yeah. because you'll be, you'll be digging for a long time, mate. When was the last time Zaka scored? Rondon's oh, coming oh, on. Oh, 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 Dave? Yeah, his dad's actually worrying me, to be honest. Because you know, the last 10, if it's still 1 0, we're going to be playing the ball straight into it. They're going to be long, long ball. He's oh, a big oh, God. I don't, Mustafi doesn't need to do well. fans there, check. With physical players as well. You saw him, like, he got bumped off the ball by Aguero last Who? season. Mustafi, Mustafi in the coming to the grand final, wherever it was. You know, it's not Rondon. Yeah, yeah. Mustafi reminds me a little bit of Otamendi, except that. He's just not improved whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Ottoman in, in, in his first year, in that he looked rash because he had to be the one to step out of the back line yes. and, and nice. make these high risk tackles. Come on, Rambo. But, yeah, he's just not really the thing improved, every, every time I watch him, he looks for the referee Simple. to see him. Yeah. You know, he, he's, he's, if he's the last man, he's looking for that foil that, that isn't going to come. He's trying to manufacture <laughs> a foil as a last man defender, Ooh. which is always such a risky game to play. Lovely. Just make the tackle. Tidy play there from yes. Lacazette. Yes, yes. Lacazette. 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 Oh! No, nah, it's, it's close. The execution wasn't there, but the idea... You are there. firmly camped in their half now, and you have been yeah. for the last five minutes, good. though, so this is we much, need to much better. Do something with we it. We need to get them into the second goal, don't we? That's what we do, we don't kill off games yeah. ever. Yeah, I mean, what, the last two games, 3-2, three, 3-1? Two, three, yeah. hmm. So you've allowed the team... To get back in it, and what, yeah. what, the last the game was an own goal. The one that got us yeah, back into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then we've world scored in 92 minutes. I absolutely love Danny Welbeck. Yeah, man, he's class. I mean... Clown feet, clown feet, well done. Do I have to go well, well, bit? Yeah, <laughs> clown feet. Yeah, worry about your own team. <laughs> <laughs> we sold them. <laughs> 18 mil to you, so we're all right. It was actually 16. Oh, 16, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you're going to yeah. start. Don't exaggerate. It was, yeah, it was having a 16 take. mil for Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. adjusting for inflation. Come on. Let's go over to Will. What's happening in the other games, pal? Uh, Huddersfield going close. Billing come in very close. Left footed shot going over the bar. <laughs> City <laughs> are in kind of casual mode now. They've went, just went. taken off Aguero and bought Jesus on. So 3 0 up. They're, they're loving life. Um, and I'm still praying and hoping that I've not cost us the accumulator because Leicester are banging on the door for that 4 3 comeback. <laughs> but we are all in apart from that game, aren't we? All right, Dave, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, take your time. Just yes, yes, it, head it, head yes. Oh, good block. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Yes. come on. So you didn't have that. Met it. We needed that. He needed that, didn't he? Come on. Mazze Azu. I just don't think you understand. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's man. He's better than Zed. He's on, man. He's just awesome. He needed that. He's had a tough couple of weeks. Exactly what he deserves. A smile back on his face. Emery's a wanger's man. Oh, yes! Man. Right, let's describe now the goal. Now we can relax. Then. Love that. I'll tell you something now, Hamill. The four's on now, I'm telling you. Jackson, take oh, me through oh. the goal. Boom. Lovely bit of play down the left wing. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. as, as that, he's actually picked someone out, which has actually changed. The amount of times we get down, yeah. uh, like, a left or right oh, wing, and, it don't, and, and the ball just kind of just stops on that first man. He's got, picked he's... someone out. Like I said, at a shot, a, a, a really good block from him, and I was always oh, slotted lovely. that. Hang the broadcast oh. is here, though. I think yeah, slot but, is generous, you know, yeah. but come on, we don't want to take this thing out of this come momentum. On. <laughs> let's let's, uh, let's see a third and fourth. Come on, Arsenal. Put Newcastle to the sword, then. Yeah, the confidence boost, nice. Good. Two more goals, and we're above Spurs. So, come on. Isn't that a little bit pathetic? No. Is it? That that's your, no, that's your barometer for you know, success, success now. What are they supposed Keeping to be? Keeping up with Spurs. Well, they're talking about Dave, they're, come on, you're better than that. No, no, but they give all this about, you know, like, uh, <laughs> it's the changing, you know, mind the cat. Like, no, mate, right? No, get, mate. Get back down, mate. Yeah, exactly. London is red, mate. We could be 18, they could be 90, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, mate. Both be getting relegated oh, as well. That's funny and sad, really, isn't it? <laughs> but, um, what else is happening, Will? I'll be honest, mate, not a lot has happened, but I'm just, I'm just sitting there thinking, isn't it mad that Ross Barkley plays for Chelsea? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, it is yeah. weird, yeah. I always and, forget uh, it's there. He started for Chelsea at the start of the season. Yeah. Admittedly, you know, Kovacic is a, a much better player, but... Um, uh, yeah, look, hopefully... Yeah. 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 Much, but look at this play. Hopefully, Sarri can do something with him. He started with Sarri. Go on, go on. Oh, touching out! 
<laughs> yes! Eat my man! A bot! And look, that's much better. Good though. football, though. Lacazette and a Bemiang linking up. That's Again, what we like shot. to see. Delightful. Delightful. Look at this. This is, look this at this is touch, top Arsenal football. This touch football, is Bergkamp esque. Yeah. He has brought, he's plucked that out, hasn't he? Oh, and the vision as well. I want a better touch from him. Okay, yeah. where, where was this Arsenal in the first half? Don't worry about that. Right? <laughs> the game is 90 minutes, all right? They were Come warming on. up. Look, you're, you know, you're so, dormant. Like you know when people give Fergie credit for winning ugly? You were definitely, you know, one of those yeah, fans I mean, that were like, listen, we can play badly I've, for 85 yeah, I, I, minutes I, I, and we'll score a goal in, the, in, in Fergie time. So, I, I, as on, Football mate. Daily's most disagreeable man, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Yeah, yeah he, is, he is the no man. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is much better, though. This is you playing a, a decent brand of football. The intensity is there. Is this Lucas Torreira's introduction, or do you think you and I just put the boot up everyone at half time? I think a bit of both. I think we need we need the goal to like, relax yeah. a little bit. And yeah. I also think Newcastle are not great, to be honest. <laughs> but um, yeah, 2 0. I want to talk about the positivity. Yeah. Chris, to for Hamill. Dave Jackson, let's go <laughs> to. Uh, Twitter. Uh, Gabriel Dorman. Amir has asked, do any of these Arsenal players get into City no. team? That's nope. what it pains me to say. No. Ooh. Maybe, where? where? Maybe Jack like Granite Jack on this form, mate. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Getting anywhere, mate. Um, nah, I, don't, I, don't I think mean, so. I think so. no. The thing is, it's not as if they have bad players, but looking at City's yeah. strength and depth it's is so strong, ridiculous. Like, throughout the team, who, who do you have left back, Monreal? Yeah, Nacho. No, no. Me. I mean, well, left back Benjamin Mendy, probably yeah. the left, best left back in the league. Doesn't even play left back. He's that good. He's yeah. a left back who plays left wing. Um, well, I mean, I mean, why? Uh, thanks for sending it in, mate. But that's that's a profound no, isn't it? Really? Yeah. I mean, so. not, not even one, not even Ozil. I mean, David Silva's just <laughs> no, he wouldn't. You know, there's no point. Um, <laughs> no, just, just stop uh, asking annoying questions. Ashley, Ashley <laughs> Toomey has asked, "What's your favourite ever Arsenal kit?" Uh, I think it might be this one. This one, yeah, this, 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 is, this is a shirt I, that, that I had Ooh. when I was actually a kid. When I was like my first Arsenal shirt. Gunners on it as well. It's yeah. like okay. 95, 96. Mm. Guys, we think we got a little bit carried away again. Apparently, there was an F word in there somewhere, which we've got to apologise hey. for. So I don't know. My bad. Might have been. Fernandinho. Might have been me. <laughs> She's just had a shot past <laughs> the post there, Chris. <laughs> Lovely. Love that <laughs> segue. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're like a like a, well, a like well. Bemiang. What's going on? <laughs> Has anything interesting <laughs> happened in the other games? There's a couple of substitutions in the Leicester game. Yeah, and the Huddersfield Gray. just getting very close, banging on the door to try and equalise there. Leicester need to change it up. The 4-3 come back. Yes. Um, Damari Gray coming off. What are you doing, Claude? But this is why he needs to go. <laughs> Bringing off Damari Gray, one of the best attacking threats. Um, sorry, he's oh, got a cigarette or half a cigarette in his chair. Check. We're just chewing on it. So for uh, just chewing on a cigarette. So for football bingo, take that one off. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, pal. Back well over if to we the Arsenal. We're cheap guy. I'm gonna be fuming. Newcastle yeah. game then. We're on that show. What? Did, sorry, did I miss a little bit of a they decent start, attacking play from Newcastle? I was Newcastle? gonna swear again. They, were, they started messing about at the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A certain, a certain goalkeeper uh, was yeah dilly dally on the ball. Needs but, to get but a surely he should just like. He should just hoof it. Yeah. Like him. I know, I know he's clearly been so, told, play yeah. out, go, go, to your, go to your wing back, your centre hot. But it, 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 it's conceding chances. Just yeah. hoof it. How much did he pay for Leno? 15. It wasn't much. I mean, so, you must be raging really sitting on the yeah. bench watching that, being like, how am I not getting you, minutes? You've not seen much of Leno, so maybe it's too hard to judge. But what goalkeeper now in world football do you like in between the sticks for Arsenal, you boys? What do we, do we can really, realistically get as well? Or no, just, I mean, any. You, you've got. Oh, so I've got cash. You're just Do not we? spending it. I'm pretty sure we still got 25 million that we got for added by all. I don't think we ever spent that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't think we, I don't think we ever spent that. Yeah. Who, who would you want? You, you can you can go realistic. You can go best case scenario. You, you can go. You can get carried away. Well, I think like a realistic option, we, we could go after the Everton keeper. Just like the England one. Jordan Pickford. Yeah, Jordan Pickford would do a job. Oh. I reckon. He's a England legend, Dave. It, sorry, it, Sir England. Is he, is he out of our? Sir Jordan Bickford. Sir Jordan, that's good. Uh, yeah, I think, I, think he, I think he's a player we could, we could actually get. There's no point in me saying man might know or anything because there's no way he's coming yeah, to us. Yeah. I mean, his distribution's decent. Yeah. He'd fit the profile. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Young as well. Bit yeah. of a sweeper keeper. Oh, Newcastle threatening here. No, no, no. Nah, never. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Touch wood. Well, up, Nacho. What about you, buddy? Um, Any old group in the world that you can replace like Czech with now? To Stegen or something like that. To Stegen? Mm. Oh, Black. 
Um, oh, that's a great shout. The Stegen's yeah, unreal yeah. last season. Yeah. Our Black has a buyout clause of 100 million if you, yeah. if you boys want to shed that. Small fry. Yeah. yeah. Small fry. Nothing. Fry. Profit yeah. on that. Or just so the Emirates. You know when, uh, <laughs> when Man City spent 30 <laughs> on Edison and everyone was like, that is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And now yeah. it's just like 70 is the going rate. But I don't understand why Goldman's always so cheap because they're arguably one of the most uh, yeah. the most important players in your team. I suppose it's just like the hard, they're quite hard in terms of judging the talent, aren't they? But I mean, if you look at De Gea last season, if United didn't have the hair, they would have conceded oh, like ten nice more goals. He won them than they would have, and they would have been five, six, yeah. seven yeah. games. There he is, Gordon Ramsay over the ball. Then you know, yet again, recycling yeah. that joke. Oh, that I'm pretty sure he, he faced Arsenal. twice the amount of shots that Ederson faced, and only conceded like three or four more. Ooh. I read a stat where Edison could have conceded every single shot on target he oh, yeah. faced at the Etihad, yeah. and City still would have won the league. Oh my God! I know, really? yeah. Is that, yeah, redonkulous. Oh. Come on, Petar, oh, safe good. hands. Look at that. Get out of me! That's the come on, Petter. When he's in his hands. He's on the floor. It. All right. Come on. Come Will, on. where's the other yeah. lap? What we're saying. Uh, Pedro going inside. close for Chelsea, uh, ducking and diving, weaving on the edge of the area, getting a shot just past the keeper post. Isn't it? And then Jesus had a really good chance in Man City to make it four, but absolutely skied it. So still 3 0 there. Well, yeah. And Chelsea on the attack again. Oh, Hazard, drinking and jiving. Oh, no, nothing. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, right across How the box. How has he done that? Yeah. But yeah, and, sorry, uh, mate, still 2-1. Cardiff putting it out of play there. Do we have a question, Dorman, yes, about Liverpool? Yes, we have a question on Twitter from Evan Davies, and he has asked, after Liverpool's win against Spurs today, I'm trying to not be one of those uh, Liverpool fans to say this is our year. However, the performance we displayed does warrant some optimism. What are your thoughts on Liverpool's title hopes? <sighs> Go on, you boys. Josh, take uh, the floor, first of all. I think every Liverpool fan has been saying it's our year since about 1963. Hey! <laughs> um, I, if, if there was ever a time for Liverpool to do something in the Premier League, it's this year. Yeah. You know, I think arguably if City weren't as strong as they were, you, they'd, they'd, be, they'd be nailed yeah. on for the title. But um, listen, I, yeah, I think they'll come first or second. I think it's between those two. It's between City and Liverpool. Yeah. And, when and I, I think Liverpool have got as good of a shot. When are the Liverpool play City? When, 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 is, that? Um, when, when is that? About, when, about a month or so? I have no idea. Uh, it yeah, it's, it's. I think yes, yeah, it's, it's, in, it's in a month's time. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. But um, uh, sorry, mate, to for free yeah, out of my head. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolute roadkill, right? There. I just <laughs> reverse over me again, Dave. Why don't you ask me another <laughs> worldly question? Um, I, I think the scary thing is that Liverpool have like a coherent transfer policy now. I don't think they've gone out. Even if they have overpaid for their targets, they've, they've got them. Like yeah. 10, 15 yeah. years ago, they were signing Czech. Bellamy, even after that, like Markovic, Downing, Henderson. Now it's just Carol. like, yeah, yeah. Carroll. Yeah, yeah, now it's all the years. top talent from around Europe. And Fabinho hasn't even had a sniff. He hasn't played a minute, competitive minute. And I do worry about their, their depth at centre back. If Van Dijk was to get injured, then Joe Gomez and Lovren, I don't think, are, are going to be anywhere near as solid. Um, uh, yeah, because, I mean, Van Dijk, his, his sort of ability enables. Uh, Robertson to go forward at left hand side and Robertson becomes a, a vital component of the attack, doesn't he? But Oh it is nice little attack. Go on. Yeah. Talking Love of attacks. It. Go on, take oh, over Denzel. No. Oh. No. You know what? It looked good. I think played it out from the back quite nicely. Hector with a nice touch and control. Played it down mm. the line. Mez has been sent for a cone of chips there. Yeah. Oh look oh. at that! Mm. Big P out. Why not? Slapping it across the ground. <laughs> oh good go turn though. Oh, oh God, what a perfect. I oh, 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 thought we were in there, lads. Yeah, we. Oh, it's so we now. Oh, <laughs> mm, interesting. I'm just a team player. Gu <laughs> guilty as charged. Oh, yeah. Right. More fan questions, please, Dorman. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> Shock. I mean, you know, classic. Uh, Thomas has asked, who will be the first manager to get sacked? Oh, what a lovely Premier question. League manager. Claude Crowell. Yeah. 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 Well, after, he's, after this. He's, he's three, nil, three nil down yeah. at Dean Court. And you're bringing Damari Gray off. You can't have a word with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else is up there? I mean... Jose Mourinho, mate, he's gone. Sam Allardyce gone. is lingering, isn't it? Yeah. Over, oh, <laughs> he's yeah. a looming spectre over a lot of bang average Absolute clubs. Slick. Do you think... who? All right, question for you all. Who do you think is going to last longer at Old Trafford, Pogba or Mourinho? Pogba, 100%. Pogba, Pogba. for Pogba. sure. He's, he's basically the future, isn't he, of that United? Because rumour has it that Juventus so, want to come back in. I heard that uh, Barcelona, I think, I heard it's going to be happening in January for next season. That's what, that's, what, that's what I've heard, mate. 
Sub in the Arsenal game though, Dave Mickey. Big Mickey. Oh, this isn't this has not been it's not been a bad best game. It really doesn't suit him being out on the left. It's like and I hope that he's kind of like morale doesn't drop because like he he it's we're not getting the best out of. He's slowed down a little bit. Hasn't he? One in four now after that fire start. I don't I don't know what Mkhitaryan does. Yeah, he's a bit. I mean, I like him. I think he's a good player, but I just don't know really what he brings. What are your frustrations with him? There's a lot of just blah. A lot of stuff that goes on that doesn't actually lead to anything like I don't know what his assist stats are. Yeah. yeah. But I can't. I don't really see him yeah, bagging goals. Is end product, yeah. isn't there? He's yeah. just lacking. But you know, what I mean? like, he, clinical finish. Yeah. He's he's got. He's obviously a technically really good sound footballer, but I just don't know what yeah. he brings to the table. Yeah. yeah I mean, he, he grabbed a couple of goal or a couple of assists at the start of last season. He had like five yeah. assists I, in three I games. I actually think his numbers are fine, but I do agree he's a frustrating player to watch. I feel like he slows up build-up play, yeah. unless he's playing through the middle. I don't like him when he's out on the wing because it does become quite laboured. But, uh, Will, you had your hands in the air there. What's going on? Cardiff nearly put another shock on. Uh, just oh. going past the far post there. Could Ooh. have been two, two inches, if you can see it, Chris. And Crystal Palace had a disallowed goal. I think it was uh, Czech Coyote on the keeper. A bit similar to the old Danny Welbeck one at Wembley a couple of, uh, a couple of weeks ago that mm. still gets my blood boiling. But uh, <laughs> it's um, still the same score there. Lovely jubbly. Back to the Newcastle Arsenal game then because Arsenal are on the attack lads swinging Arsenal it in very put yeah, it in look, looking very very come on close. go on have a strike uh, Hector oh, oh a lovely great. ball down the right oh, cross. pick someone up no need for all this messing Head about oh, oh no oh my god Lucas Torreira has killed a pigeon with that shot <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 he's a tried to chip it he's just a bunch of granite sacker he's a budget granite no it was a diet but like, I don't oh, understand what dude. he's trying to do there. Poor technique there. Oh. I mean, I think he, he got four or five goals for Sam Dory <laughs> last season. Not not known for chipping in yeah. uh, for, for his he's goals. Not, he's not the Carlos he's, Vela of his nah, time. No, was, was taking free kicks as well. So goals from open play, Carlos, short, so, Carlos short Vela love a chip, didn't he? Carlos Vela did. Love yeah, he, he, he would not finish anything without yeah. a dink. Carlos Vela at the World yeah. Cup was, was, was still quality for like 60 minutes and then you could tell that he just hasn't been looking after himself yeah. at all. <laughs> he was carrying a little bit of a pouch around. He was a, but he st still had the, the technique to, to go with. Oh, sorry, Chris. Didn't talk with you, Chris. With on, uh, Wes Morgan been sent off for Leicester. I, oh. I thought it might have been a yellow. Gone through one bloke and then another one. He's absolutely charging around like it's a Sunday league afternoon. But he's uh, straight red for him. Oh, no. Human, armband's gone to Casper Schmeichel. 3-0 down. Poor Wes. That is what... <laughs> Let's have a closer uh, look on. at this then. Oh, he's got the ball. Ooh. It's the second one here as well. He comes. Ooh. He's got the ball twice. It's a bit of a lunge. Yeah. To, to be fair, that could be like. I remember watching a Northern Ireland match. Corey Evans got sent off for two yellow cards in two tackles that happened. Sorry, who? Corey Evans. Johnny Who's Evans. Who's Corey Johnny, Evans? Johnny Evans' brother. Is it actually oh. Johnny Evans' brother? It actually is Johnny Evans. Have you found a way to bring Northern Ireland into this conversation? Yeah, yeah I don't know if Pretty he was on it. I think he might have been on it, yeah, actually. Just waiting to. I uh, thought they were two the solid old. tackles. Yeah. I've always wanted to do this, Chris. I'm just waiting for confirmation in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's happening. But yeah, where's Morgan off? 3 0 down. Claude Powell, P45, could be on his desk oh, as of Monday. Or Sunday, if they're in. Might be in. Who works that place? It was actually at Leicester on Thursday. Beautiful training ground. Yeah, yeah, lovely. It is nice. Did, it? You, yeah, nice. did you get out and have a look around? You know, the, not too the, much, the no. But uh, yeah, it's was, it was, it was nice, taking you long, mate. I assure you. Yeah, <laughs> straight round. Right, back to the game then. I see. Oh, well, hello, Lacazette. Lack of pressing. Love that. Oh, one on one. We won. Oh, it's Ramsey. It's not going. Anywhere. Oh, good. Oh, oh, oh go on. Yeah. Hold your tongue. Switch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, go on, Mickey. Come on, we got. What is that? Oh, you just tried to pass it into the ground. Oh, Mickey. The thing is, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying he should score, but we should have scored from that opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's what I'm going to get. How many wingers? We yeah. have it's nice on the to right see. One -on -one. I mean, so he's always going to cut it back in. He's yeah. going to try and get back onto his. Mkhitaryan does seem to take two or three extra touches unnecessarily. Mm. You're breaking well. You break yeah, well. You break your numbers as well. Just needs to be a little bit slicker, see, doesn't see, it? See, like that's where we need a bummy. Being like yeah. our last man, he would have. Yeah. Morgan was two yellows. So nobody oh, so could have been three or four. We can bit, confirm but... Morgan was two yellows, and we can confirm that a correct score of Arsenal three 0 is ten to three. Oh, ten so to three! Crack open your piggy banks. Stick a stick a flutter on that. Oh, um, right over to the something's happened in the Chelsea game. Apparently, I don't want to throw you under the bus here, Will, because I've not been watching in the slightest. But... <laughs> uh, I can understand why Chris Kamara has such a hard time now when he does this. Uh... <laughs> We have a question on Chelsea, in fact. Sorry, I've absolutely sold Sorry, you a dream there. Oh, we do, yes. uh, nothing's happening in the game, and we have a question on it. So, <laughs> nice little substitution. I appreciate you trying to find something. Yeah. In the game. <laughs> Looks on, nice. <laughs> the question <laughs> is from Sam White, and they have asked Do you think if John Terry joins Chelsea as a defensive coach, Chelsea's defence will?
will improve and make Chelsea prime for winning the title? No. That was his question. I mean, that's, 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 that's a bit of a weird question. That one. I mean, don't throw me, in, me under the bus. I'm getting this. You know, <laughs> no, I mean, I, thoughts on John Terry? I, as he's one of the game's last true winners. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So you're you're pro Terry. How can you not be pro Terry? Like, well, he's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. I get, and as an Arsenal fan, like, I don't, I, I don't much play against him. But if he's in your yeah. side, if he's yeah, in your yeah, side, yeah, yeah. you love him. Yeah, he's one of those like, players you, love you hate to play against. Yeah, because play he's, he's going to be sat in the change room. He's going to be g and everyone up. He's going to be like, right, you do whatever. It, if you need to stamp on someone's toes, toes fits in it, yeah, yeah, you stamp on the toes. If you need to little shirt tug, he's a winner. Yeah, he's like a Ramos. Like, you know what I mean? You can hate, yeah. you can hate him, but you have to love Master him as a player and as a winner. Proper. He's a proper footballer. But again, right. I, I just don't really know what, what he adds to Chelsea's defence as a coach, you know? Like, no, he can't just, say, listen, you've got to throw yourself in front of everything. Yeah. You're, just, you're not going to be in training. Listen, right. You're Ed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Six centimetres off the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, can't talking of up. winners, we have a price boost, Will Brazier. Price boost? Five to one <laughs> for Hazard to get a hat-trick oh, in the game Hazard. against the Diff. Yeah, He's only got one. Bad. In his entire like career for Chelsea, so I like that. I take Can that. he add one? He's got two, hasn't he? Bit of collector's yeah, item. I'll tell you what, that might be slide, slide in a little Giroud assist on that as well. That'd be some Have amazing got odds. Is your own dream what, team? What a hatty of assist and goal. Oh, uh, to to yeah, get there, that's undestru undestructible. <laughs> Easy for me to show. <laughs> Not uh, a word there, Will. No, anyway, yeah, yeah. I won't try that again. <laughs> we'll move on. Back to the Newcastle Arsenal game where you know you're safely camped in your half, but. This is fine. We look yeah. comfortable, mate. I'm happy. Yeah. I can sit I back. I can relax. Need to do more. Yeah. Arsenal looking good. Games. A bit of game management, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just we just conserve energy for the next game. You know, we'll, we'll, uh, as long as the check down is the four ways of feet. Has he just right. lumped that up yeah. top to yeah. absolutely no one? Well, I mean, I think he took a bad touch. Classic Mustafi. <sighs> so has in, in this first five, Mkhitaryan's uh, coming into the fray made made a difference. Uh, I think it was probably not a bad sub to actually bring Aubameyang off, give him a little rest, um, yeah. and just see the game out now. How long, yeah. how long have we got left? About 15 minutes? Um, something like that. Yeah, 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Thank you very much, Pete Dorman. So you've got Everton and Watford up next in the league. Resting Aubameyang through for those fixtures, Dave? Definitely not. I, was, <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually want to see him through like, the, the, the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The You've also got a Europa League game against a team. Yeah. I, who, well, who, I, think, who, I think about Sporting. Really obscure. And, like, it's, no, it's like Voltron. Yes, yes, you're correct. It's like, it sounds Voltron. like, a, sounds like, a, like, like some sort of Game Boy game. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. Game Boy oh, game. It's <laughs> a game I will not be going to. But, yeah. Yeah. But, I, uh, I read an article that uh, he said he's prioritising the Europa League, which means he's not going to rotate that much. Okay. Oh. So I mean, I mean, I don't mind it. Like, if we're going to be in it, we might as well try and win it. But it's, it's a big, big gamble, isn't it, to have your whole season on one tournament? You know what I mean? It's like, well, so like, well, like, we're going to win the FA Cup. I think, I think it, it yeah. all like when you get into the 30s games in the Premier League, and if you've you've had a good run in the Europa League, but you've not rotated your squad, your players are going to be dying on the pitch. Mm. Yeah. Equally, who's competing for that last? Europa League spot. If you say in sixth place is fine, but the best way back into the Champions yeah. League is to win the Europa League. I don't think Everton are good enough no. to finish sixth at current. I mean, maybe no. when Silva has them I, for another year, yeah. you might have to watch over your shoulder a little bit. Yeah, a I bit think more it's closely, but on top four are City, Liverpool, well, Chelsea, Tottenham, no, and then not, United. It's not nailed on. I mean, I, I, as a United fan, I would say it's pretty nailed on. If we get on two goals form. today, then we're above Spurs. So yeah, after four games, five yeah. games. <laughs> Where are you now in the league, Dom? Uh, I have no idea, mate. Well, uh, plastic. <laughs> for, for, probably about eight. <laughs> I think we're nine, aren't we? Uh, now, if we were after, after today, we'll, we'll go up quick, pretty, yeah. pretty high. I'm yeah. seeing, I'm seeing I, James I Madison on the corner, Will. Uh, yeah, in the Crystal Palace game, Wilfred Zahar carving Huddersfield apart, but shot was saved. They've got a corner now. Um, Madison is my man, always will be, but I don't think it's going to be his day today, Chris. Fair enough. I don't think the 4-3 comeback is on oh, at current. Corner comes in. If he does this, could save Powell's. 4-3. Oh, oh, what's after oh, the line? Off the line. Begovic. Absolutely flapping at that. They normally Terrible. give it for the foul, but he played on and uh, maybe should have scored. All right, should we get a couple more fan questions, Dorman? Any, any ones that have caught the eye? Um, I'm just having a look now. Um, interesting right. one here. James Jessup has asked, can Cavani still be considered a world-class player when compared to the likes of Lewandowski or Suarez? Oh, we've gone on the continent. Yeah. I think PSG. He, I, think, I, think I think he definitely can be considered. Um, he's, he's always going to be in the shadow of Neymar and Mbappe. But that doesn't mean he's not a world-class mm. player. Um, but was it you who said PSG? I was literally about to bring this yeah. up. Yes, Dorman. 
PSG aren't as good as Tottenham on a wavelength. No, what I really? said was, and let, I want you boys, I'm going to throw this out to the floor. Okay. Yeah, come on, we'll get involved over there. Forget about Leicester, they're not coming back. You've absolutely screwed over our accumulator. Yeah. Thanks, for, Thanks for coming, Pull mate. Up, First and last time. <laughs> I said that PSG would be a step down for Christian Eriksen. No way. <laughs> no way. Imagine going to training and looking at the players at PSG, you're going, right, it's an honour to be playing. So, so, yeah, but at the same time, look, and, look at the league you're in. Yeah, but it's Tottenham. They've had two it's good Spurs, seasons. Spurs, Matt. They're not I, know, I know PSG were nothing 25 years ago or whatever, but it's still Tottenham. Spurs right. want to rent a home, so, you know what exactly. I mean? Playing average football, getting beat by title challenges. Wait, so are you saying that Christian Eriksen could do a better move than PSG? I or think, if I he think, stays yeah. at Tottenham, he's better off than going to PSG? No, because well, those are two different questions. I think Tottenham are one world-class central midfield signing away from being firm Premier League contenders. They are suffering with their squad depth now. <laughs> I, admittedly, yeah, if he went to PSG, he'd be playing with Mbappe, he'd be playing with Neymar, but yeah. I think Neymar wants to leave after this year. Rabiot tried to get out to Barcelona. I think the PSG Galactico project could come undone at the seams in two or three years. Ultimately, if Neymar goes there, doesn't win an individual trophy, that sets a... I mean, they, they can pay them uh, handsome they amounts, can't they? But a yeah, bad well precedent back. in terms Come of on, like Danny. world class players going there, you know, to step out of other people's shadows like he did with Messi. I just think, yes, Ericsson could go there, win a treble, but I, I, I think if you go, I'd rather be part of a Tottenham squad that. I mean, there's a massive caveat here that Tottenham have to sign players. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Well, well, so Domestically, PSG are, are you know, irrelevant. No, no, okay, I understand that. Yeah, 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 but but yeah. Christian Eriksen has more chance of winning the Champions League at PSG than yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the only thing so. PSG can offer him. Mm. And Spurs mm. ain't winning the league anytime soon. No, yeah. They're at so least, they're arguably, at least 15, 20 yes. points off City. And what are you saying is I'm wrong. This is <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, wouldn't, I would say that it's not necessarily a step down. It's not a step down, but it's not the right move. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's probably a better way to articulate it. But I, I, sure. I, I seriously think that... I mean, Tottenham had a bad day today. Um... I don't think Tottenham are a bad side. I just think PSG yeah. are a, a club that you could like, legitimately say could win the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. This I, is... I think a PSG you'd win a lot of silverware, but not much of it would be that meaningful. And I think Tottenham are well equipped yeah. to go deep in the Champions League. Yet again, yeah. we saw it last season. They came out of a group convincingly with Dortmund and Real Madrid in it. And over two legs, they beat Real Madrid. And unfortunately, you know, they came up against... Juventus, I mean, Juventus. Yeah, no. Juventus, who... Were on and I mean, Yeah, who, who, who ultimately lost in the final. But... They, they have suffered for not making a signing. Yes, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> so let's go back to the game then. Arsenal. Yeah. Oh, here he is, Petter. Come on. Yeah. Hold on, Dave. What is this? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, oh. see, this is what... I, uh, it's a running joke now. Oh, you're talking to scary. I've got some scary odds for you, Dave. Oh, oh, oh I'm loving it. Ozil, I'm loving it. Ozil to score a brace, 18 to 1. What are you saying? That is definitely worth a fiver, mate. In is fact, that worth... I, I, if I, if, get on the blower. If I was allowed to get on the sky now, I would definitely put a fiver on that. I might. Go on, do it. I think yeah. I've got a little. I've got a little, a little bit left in the old account. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll stick it on. Just do it now. <laughs> do, it. do it. Right. The the, uh, the masses at St James. Oh, look, oh hello. Oh, sorry. Oh no, Leicester. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, well and truly up this morning, now, isn't it? Absolute. Who would ever predict Leicester would win that? Smith scored for Bournemouth. <laughs> low drive from the edge of the area. Right underneath Casper Schmeichel. Slightly down the middle, near in the post. Probably could have done a little bit better. And there's a penalty at Chelsea oh, as well. Oh. Shaul Bamber, Neil Warnock's adopted son, he could put him one nil up, but he could have <laughs> cost them there. He's lunged in. Uh, that looks trend. messy. That looks messy. Yeah. Right, let's man, see it from this angle. Is it fair? Did he get a touch? Yeah, what are you doing? No, no, absolutely not. He is he is light years away from that, isn't he? <laughs> there's a man with uh, limbs that's probably the same size as Saul Bamber. I can kind of. Oh. See how it got a bit messy then. <laughs> yeah. Gangly. Right, Very let's gangly. see if this penalty goes in. Hazard for the hat trick. So, it's four, oh, so Claude mm -hmm. Puel 4-0 down. Don't Could it possibly me. be the Hazard hat trick that we plugged? Yeah. You know, well, because well. <laughs> the accumulator is gone. Yeah. Let's, let's at least get... Oh, God, he's taking it as well. Come yeah. on, boys. Yeah. If, oh. any, if anyone put that on in our recommendation, please tweet that in, all right? What were because the odds on that? A, we need the affirmation. They were good. They were pretty decent. Ten. Oh, yes, oh. Eden. Second hat trick in Chelsea colours. So that is like, like a price boost, team. isn't it, Christopher Hamill? Well, that's price boost time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Mickey. Corporate Dave and Chris here. Um, <laughs> smashed it. <laughs> oh, sell out. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Bournemouth, the last time they scored four goals, I've been assured, was when? Against Chelsea, didn't L they? Didn't they no, last November it? against Huddersfield, Dave. Come on, oh. you don't know, that's common knowledge, Go mate. On. Go on. Someone yes, yes, someone. Oh. Who's running in? Someone needs to arrive late there. Right, good corner, that. Also, but, uh, ultimately. Oh, look at Wells just working hard down that. Oh, I love that. Newcastle's new signing. This is the f uh, he's not started yet, nine and a half mil. Never spend any money, did they, Newcastle? So. Hey, well he's worse than Jack. Pressure, pressure. Oh, hang on, go on, go on, go on, go on, Danny, go. Go, Danny, go, go, go. Look at that overlap. Look at, that. <laughs> Look at the that energy there. The easiest from overlap I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Monreal, what are you up to? Donny Welbeck's skill rate must be like. Monreal wants an early shower. Why do you he's hate Welbeck? We love him. He's useless, mate. Nah, he's a lovely boy. He's a lovely boy. Come on. Come on. You, know, you know him on a personal level, do you? I, mean, I actually, oh, I actually, I actually, I actually wish I knew Danny Welbeck at yeah. a personal level. You know, it'd be quality, would go out. You know. All right, let's take a few fan questions, Don. There's a bit of a lull in this game. Um, question here from Tippy Ted Head Histor. Great name. Nice. Um, I'm changing my fantasy Premier League team this week with the wild card. Who is a good midfielder? Oh, we actually have our own Sky Sports Fantasy Football League. And if you haven't joined it yet, please do so. You know, there's about 4,000 of us in there. What are you playing at? Prizes to be won. I don't know. Overhaul. Depends who you've got in your team, Matt. Without any context. Well, no, I mean, it, it means he's playing the wild card, so he can just read well, it. Oh, take, 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 take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Pick someone out. Love that ball. Big Welbs. Oh, Danny. Finish. Danny with the assist. Oh, oh come on. Uh, so yeah, play. Oh, 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 that was a delightful touch. Is that that's Kennedy? I don't know it? who that is. Kennedy. Kennedy. Dribble, is. dribble maestro. Why have like Newcastle not started him? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, he was he was he was terrible against. Uh, oh. Who was it? Was it Cardiff the other day? Off, I think he missed a penalty, didn't he? Oh, oh. 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 cross oh. come, cross come shot there, nearly yeah. spilled by a pair. So going back to that question, he's playing the overhaul, which means he can just essentially just reboot his team. Yeah. What should his midfield be? Well, you're an avid fantasy football player. Who would you bring in? You know, for tomorrow's games. Or for tomorrow's well, games. Well, I mean, there's no, there's no point. Sorry, it's a goal for Chelsea. Williams oh, scored after interruption. Was that four now? It's it? an absolute worldie. It's got. Uh, I've lost count of the score. Three, four. Four nil. Four, four, one. Four, one. Four, one. Four, one. This is a great game, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll tell you yeah. what, this is a great to be watching. <laughs> and uh, it, one of Claude Puel's last actions, he's brought Jamie Vardy off for Johnny Evans. Oh, I love that. One really? of his last yeah. actions. Yeah. 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 Just, just, just to make sure. Yeah, really you know, inspiring. Three nil down. Let's get Johnny Evans on. Because four nil isn't embarrassing, apparently. For me, for fantasy football, it would be Granite Xhaka. Oh, yeah. Golf scoring machine. It, oh, was, it, it, a it, it was actually a ridiculous free kick. <laughs> that free kick really? was. Speaking of Will, Will wow, Bees, Willie oh, Ann's absolutely oh, bent one in top bins. Yeah. That, that is, that is lovely. We've seen a great calibre of goal today. Top That's a lovely rippling. Oh, oh, the 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 yeah. <laughs> All engrossed here in the Chelsea game. Reminds me a bit of Raheem Sterling's against Southampton last year. That's probably the best comparison of goal all day. There we go. Well done, Dom. You take it, mate. Take the award. Right. Back to the game in hand, because Arsenal are kind of just seeing us out now, aren't you? For me, yeah. this is a very, very good away, away like, kind of performance. You know, we weren't the best at first half, but we didn't concede. You weren't the best. <laughs> is what? You literally, you literally weren't the best in a, team, yeah. in a game of two teams. Yeah. <laughs> just so I got that out. Yeah, but now it's out. And, uh, yeah, and then, and then, and then once, we, once we did get the goal, completely in control from that point forward, we managed, we managed, managed to get a second, and now for like the last 20 minutes, I don't think Newcastle had a sniff. Anyone so. impressed you? Second half, Josh? Um, I think... Do you Not know what? Uh, Troy's coming on. He's, I don't know if he's, he's come in and changed the game, but he, the intensity's changed yeah. when he's come on and he's brought that about. So I think, for me, him, I think Ozil's obviously... He's played well, yeah. yeah, he's played well. I don't think it's we didn't see him in the first yeah, half, yeah, but I, I think he's come I don't think there's been, sure. like, a standout player for Arsenal in the second half. It's just been a decent team. Yeah, yeah, I like so. Bellerin. I think, I think a lot of stuff's come down that mm. right-hand side, and he's, he's been positive, so I'm going to say Bellerin. Hector. Big Hecky B. Hecky B. All right, what else is happening, Will? Do we have any updates elsewhere? Because there's been an awful lot of goals in the other games. Yeah, there has been. Fulham slightly knocking on the door, but they're not going to do anything with the last 10 minutes. Hazard's come off after scoring his hat-trick. Zappa Costa coming on, keep his legs fresh. But, um, yeah, Huddersfield still only 1-0 down, so they've got a chance. They've got the big man, Del... Del Porte? Del Potra. Del Potra, yeah. yeah. He's on up front, so they'll be getting the long balls in for him. So that's oh, the only place to game really. Del Potra looks like a bouncer, doesn't he? Looks like he should be standing outside of Weatherspoons. <laughs> He's oh, yeah. absolutely huge. You wouldn't mess with him. No, not at all. Slightly ginger as well. Not saying that's a criticism, <laughs> but that is slightly ginger. Just, just, just like that. Auburn. Yeah, oh, that, <laughs> Auburn. Great. Strawberry I love that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's defensively right, very poor there for Newcastle. 
So what happened there, Dave? Break it down for me. Well, ball's been played in. I don't Ooh, know where our defence was, and it's basically a free header. I think it's, it's not great defending, but I'm um, good save from Petr Cech. Well done. We actually have a question on Petr Cech, don't we? So time. Yes, uh, Toby Berryman has asked via Twitter: With Emery wanting to play out the play out of the back with Arsenal, do you think Leno deserves to start over Cech because that is what Leno specialises in? Sorry, Dorman. There's a penalty at oh, Leicester, and the comeback is on, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, the foxes. Three 0 down oh, with ten men. Well, come, come on, come on, on the on, foxes. Daddy, come on. Yes! I saw no. kicking off. Never yes! Yeah! Oh! Oh, who'd have thought it? Danny's got a world best goal. He's back to goal eight yards out. <laughs> So I, I do like him. I like him. I like him. Like him. Like him. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. but <laughs> I don't know. I might be being a bit unfair there. What's happened? I mean, I mean that's a, that's an inch perfect pass. Uh, yeah. He's been marshalled quite well. Is that Yedlin? Yedlin is fast, isn't he? Yeah, he's come across. Get a shot he's, away. He's... Get a shot away. Let's pause for a moment of reflection because James Madison is stepping up <laughs> to score for Leicester. Well, if he misses this, you're walking home. Yeah. I will. I'll walk out the studio. I've um, only got to go back to Birmingham, not Manchester. Yeah. He scores! The consolation goal. That's an extra two men on his price tag, which I'll be cashing in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, right. not happy. But that's the question about Czech then, Dorman, and I reckon. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Leno specialises in playing out from the back, good with the ball at his feet. Should he not be starting over Czech, considering that this style Emery is consistently wanting to play? Arsenal boys? I'm, I'm thinking, I, I haven't seen Leno play actually as... I, I, don't, I, actually, I don't know if he's actually any good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah. So it's like, if he's, if he's absolutely useless with his hands, I don't, I don't care if he's <laughs> with his feet, you know what yeah. I mean? So uh, I, need, I need to see him. Uh, we've got like a... Carabao Cup game coming up against Brentford. I'll see. How, hopefully, he'll play in that game. We'll see if he's any good. So I, think that's that's a, I think that's a well, pretty then, fair answer. What's the point of buying him if you're if he's not good enough to take the number one shot off deck? You know what it is. American football analogy: when they get like a young quarterback and they let him sit on the sidelines, bed in for the year, he's going to be watching Petr Cech, experienced Premier League goalie. Year later, I'm picking up the worst, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the worst traits ever. Reflexes he can pick up, maybe <laughs> yeah. not on the feet. I mean, but uh, Petr Cech is is what captain, right? I mean, I think to, to instant to, to replace yeah. him instantly would be maybe a little bit, I don't know, disrespectful of his of his standing or. So, but that's yeah, the, that's but goal at Leicester, it's three oh. two. Get on it! Come on! It's Mark Albright. Sharky Mark. Come on, Mark. Used to play for Villa, but we'll let that slide. Uh, it's three two. You you got to dare to dream in oh, these situations. Oh, 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 oh. My goodness. To right. I, 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 describe I the Leicester goal, then Dave will describe the Newcastle goal. Uh, it's whip, all booting off. Whip ball in, Mark Albrighton, low head had gone into the side net end, and Kieran Clark Sorry, used to play for Villa why, as well. Why are we like this? What? One long ball. How long, how long have we got left? Are we in the 88th, 89th? What, what, who's defending? The... <laughs> Who scored? What a ball that is, by the way. Where's Nacho Monreal, Clark? by the way? And Monreal's gone to gone to sleep, gone to bed. Monreal's house looked tight. Oh, he's, he's how's he got that? When you're 2 0 up, how's he got that? Is that Hosselu? Yeah. No, it's Kieran Clark. It's Kieran it? Clark? What's oh, Kieran Clark doing up there? No. That's your ultimate all out attack on this FIFA. It's going to be like the nerviest <laughs> 10 minutes. He's doing the Stephen Cole. How long was that? Nah, <laughs> Chris, how long was this? Um, 88 we're on. Oh, oh, so I reckon at least three minutes in due time. Five minutes left, we'll say. That's good, though. A bit but of drama here after a drab first half. Well, this is what we like, lads. Huddersfield, one goal in it. There's one goal in it at Dean Court, and obviously the main game that you guys are watching, one goal in it there. Drama. <laughs> drama. Will, I did not see Sharky Mark's goal. Can you describe it for me? Uh, ball in from the right-hand side, whipped in with the left, so in swinging. All Brighton gets ahead to it, right in the side net, and nothing the keeper could do about it. But uh, Bournemouth are in again. But, yeah, 3-2, and they've only got 10 men, Can't so me. I don't know where this has come from. Cla they, maybe they do love Claude Powell, and they just want to keep him in the job. Mm. So they've only just decided. Oh god, Ben Chilwell's just gone down. That doesn't bode well. Might be oh, that down to nasty, nine, then. didn't it? That. I think. I think it's a bit of cramp. Oh, you can't. It's just a bit of cramp. Thank Thank you. A bit of pressure. On anyway, back to the Arsenal awesome Newcastle. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, that's oh. what you get defending from the front. From him. <laughs> come on, that, come on, the Welbs. That's a hard-working <laughs> Arsenal that's fan. He works so hard. hard, hard he's only been on the pitch for five minutes. Anna, the current England squad is the top top goal scorer. There you go. Yeah, well, there you go. John Stones has bit. got 34 caps. Has he? Yeah. 34 caps? Yeah. I do love him. I, love I mean, he's not the greatest, you know, stat or oh, even, you know, know most there? interesting <laughs> conversations. Right? <laughs> but, like, has I did a bit of research not, Has Mbappe not got, like, 24 caps? Who's that, sorry? Mbappe. Mbappe uh, is 24, 24 caps, yeah. Come on. Scary, scary stuff. Uh, what were you doing at 19, Josh? Uh, Keep it, PG. <laughs> I, was at, I was at uni doing things. Go on. Shopping. What? Go on, TikTok. Hello, here we go. Oh, oh and that's well back from Yedlin yeah. and out from the I could the never relax to an Arsenal game, Christopher Hamill. Hamill in my... Uh, I mean, you sound annoyed at me, mate, but... Is he come from offside? Because that is... Yeah, no, he's all right. Is there anything I can do? Dave, quick back massage or something? Oh, what safe. is that? 
That's good. Hamill in my rush of excitement. Yeah, I did just say hold on to the ball. There's no need. Need. It's only four. It's four two. Yes. It's four two. Yeah. So relax play. now. Relax. Clever. Keep the ball down Clever. there. I appreciate you trying to up the stakes, mate. But, yeah, exactly. Um, but factually incorrect. It's eight all, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. By the way, can we talk about the comeback of our man's hair hairline? Oh, Andros Townsend. Andros Townsend. Yeah. Wow, is, yeah. is the greatest comeback. Talk about a glow up. Oh Lazarus. my god! I, I, I <laughs> like. I want to know who that who did that. Because <laughs> in case it ever goes badly for yeah. me, he's Belgravia's star man, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He's absolutely killed it. Look at how. Is that it? Is it done? Done. Yeah. Oh, it's no tense there, mate. Ninety-first well minute. That'll do. Will. That'll do. That'll hey. do. They're not a fan of it. Oh, full, we're a Fergie time, full time, time mate. over at St George's Park. That's a massive Park. three points, that is. Oh, Leicester going close again. Congratulations. Congrat congratulations, <sighs> Dave. How about that? What a delight. Look at Mezit. Happy man. Right, now. Will someone, you know, get Dave's blood pressure tablets, please? Because I just got a clue. I thought, are we going to mess yeah. that up? Oh, no, it'd be typical Arsenal. Yeah. Really. Because you were in cruise control for yeah. like the last 20 minutes. I mean, for, for me, the whole of the second half was like, just easy. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. You scored early on and then. <sighs> Kieran Clark. Uh, Goal poacher. Human. Right, let's go over. Let's have, let's focus on on these uh, the remaining the games there because there's still Palace games. Anyone really sank in it, isn't it? It's only one 0 in that game. They've got the big man up front. They're pushing more forward, but they're, they're, they've had a few chances, but no like guilt head chances. Leicester went close again, trying to make it four three. Ben Chilwell risen from the dead after looking like he'd. Uh, lost a ligament, but he's he's all right again now. And uh, Man Phoenix City, the flames. Man City fans are already clearing out because they're uh, absolute dominant performance against Fulham. But Claude Puel there, is, that, is he wiping away a tear there, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> On either cheek as well, could be quite emotional. Shouldn't return oh. to Leicester if I was him. Uh, oh, you know. 4 2 down. But uh, yeah, Huddersfield versus Crystal Palace, the only game with one goal in it left. Um, but yeah, Palace looking at that guy's beard. Top left, Crystal Palace. Have you ever been to uh, Huddersfield? Uh, I haven't, mate. Great place. Yeah, yeah. Nice architecture. Uh, and the stadium's in a bowl, and it's, if you sat on the one side, mm. just trees in the background. Really oh, nice. the Kirk Lee Stadium. Correct. Correct. For a oh. ding, 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 for a bonus that. point. Um, have you ever been to Selhurst Park? Yes. Atmosphere. Mm. Away end. Excellent. Brilliant. Nice. Haven't they moved the guys with the drums as well now? I'm not but, sure. I, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, attending a game at, at Crystal Palace was where I got off. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but right there. Right. Bournemouth in again. Great that last gaff's defended. Fair bit of injury time Ooh. in these games then. Cash Michael taking a bit of a risk there towards the end. Huddersfield have got a corner. Will it be but the keeper Ooh. be coming up? What do we make of Pep's so. outfit today? He's looking mm. like he's, he's, he's very suave. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he looks, looks like, like he's he, just stepped out of Zara. He's like an artist. He All must, finished at Manchester City then. Oh, they were easy, innit? Must be going down the northern quarter for me, just like oh, that. Oh, the, oh. Yeah. <laughs> the keeper was up for Huddersfield and they've got a no, is that it? What's he saying there? Is it over? It's all, yeah, over. It's all over. over. Roy Hodgson, the Owl, has done it. The Owl has done it. Crystal Palace with a win. Yeah. Uh, and that's it, really. All the other games are dead and buried. Taking three points. Back to the nest. Right. Bournemouth. I actually, I actually thought Bournemouth were in serious trouble at the start of this season, but they've started extremely well. Yeah. Um, do you rate Eddie Howe? Because a lot of people would like to see him be given a shot at a bigger club. Yeah. I mean, Personally, I think you know it, it needs to be an Everton. It needs to be a, someone of that calibre. Because we had uh, we, we had a conversation that we Jimmy, wasn't it? Jimmy, Jimmy Fordhouse about think, yeah. thought he deserved a shot at a club like Arsenal, which I thought was no. was out there. Was was out there, much like you know most of Jimmy's shots on goal. But <laughs> what do you make of it, Will? Well, Big fan of Eddie comes in, takes them up to the Premier League, keeps them up first season, which I didn't think they'd do. Next season, 12th. Next year after that, 9th. So, I mean, he's building with, but like, I think they're everyone's favourites to go down Bournemouth. I haven't really bought anyone in, but they've got a solid squad, solid ethos. I really like him. And he's English, give him a chance. No. That's all over at Bournemouth now. No, and we're going to go. We just won 4 2. Yeah. Ryan Fraser looks like he's just received some terrible news. Over to Chelsea <laughs> as well, where it's all over. Sarri there, still with half a fag in his mouth. <laughs> and Meza Ozil, Granit Xhaka after the game. I mean, I Can't hear the match report, so. Don't know why I went over to that. Pretty pointless, <laughs> really. Final score, no, nothing, nothing changed towards the end, did it there? Bettinelli for Fulham has been given a call-up to the England squad. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm a bit yeah. surprised by that. Quite odd, you know. Sounds very Italian, doesn't it? Yeah. That is all the games, guys. So, any final thoughts on uh, Newcastle versus Arsenal? You said you're impressed by the game management towards the end, but then it all changed with that Kieran Clark goal. Yes, Dave. they have. We, we have to sort that defence out. Like you know, oh. it, there's only so many times when you can try and outscore that, uh, another team before you get punished. But third win on the bounce. We march forwards. 
Mm -hmm. Emre's red and white army marching up the table. Baby steps. This is the start of Sanchez. Baby steps. You know what I mean? All right, and what would you like to see change over the next few fixtures, Josh? Yeah, that defence needs, to, uh, needs to shore up. I think we need to work out who's playing in goal. Why is Genduzi always coming off at half time or in 60 minutes? What does Jacker bring to the table? <laughs> yeah. Feedback. But yeah, there's uh, yeah. some positives. The positives are, yeah. I, I, I like, like I said, Aubameyang starting to get yeah. I prefer to see Aubameyang more central rather than trying to cut in every two minutes. Yeah, I think Lacazette was really good in this game, really? actually. Yeah. I think for me, he was, it was one of your bright sparks. Like, he was trying to make things happen, wasn't he? He was dropping deep. I, I really like his just general endeavour, to be honest. Yeah, he worked hard. He, he, he's one of the first players to come back and, like, defend from the front. And, yeah. and, 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 like, literally, he can turn defence to attack. He's on the edge of the box. He drives with it. He's, uh, he's a positive player. I Top like guy. It. Yeah. Right, over to the accumulator now. Bit of a foregone conclusion, oh, despite Leicester giving it their best efforts. Will has let us down on first base, to be frank, but I think you did a superb job today in the chair, mate, so we'll let you off. Dorman, you've called the home win 4-1 to Chelsea over Cardiff. Was always likely to happen, wasn't it? Cardiff, absolutely toilet. Dave, nailed it, it mate. Balls on. it, called it. Triple 20. Uh, and home win for Manchester City, finished 3-0. Josh... It. What can I say? I said 3-1, but do you know what it was? I think we we didn't quite have that cutting edge at the end, but it's all good. Right. I fully agree. Here's the table. Chelsea, top of it. Sarri off to a perfect Seven. start along with Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. Plus 10 and plus 9 goal difference at this point, along with plus 11 for Manchester City. So the three, well, two of the three that people thought were, were going to be front yeah. runners. Um, sitting pretty and Chelsea surprising everyone. The bottom of the table reads like this. West Ham with a minus eight goal difference despite wow. spending the GDP of DR Congo in the <laughs> summer. Burnley and Newcastle in 19th and 18th respectively. And I think, oh, that bottom, from 16 downwards, I think it could remain like that for the rest of the season, to be perfectly honest. What, what are your thoughts? Who's favourite for relegation matters? I think at this stage, West Ham look like they can't buy a win. Like they're just they're in bag banging trouble, banging trouble. I, I like West Ham, but one hundred percent Cardiff are down. They're, they're down already. I'm telling you, they, they, they won't. They'll, they'll do better than what Derby did in whatever that was, 2010 or whatever it was. But like they're definitely going down. No. It'll be a shame. Here we go then. We've got some promos for you guys. <laughs> well, we don't have right. a promo. Here they are. Thank you very much, the guy on graphics. I hope it was the same guy who changed Peter Dorman because he's getting bought a beer afterwards. <laughs> right, Blackburn versus Aston Villa on tonight at 5.15. We've got goals on Sunday obviously coming up as well. Wolves versus Burnley, Everton, West Ham, Southampton, Brighton, the subsequent fixtures. Any games there tickle your pickle, Will? I'll tell you what I won't be watching, and that's Blackburn versus Aston Villa, but uh, <laughs> Ever <laughs> Everton versus West Ham takes my fancy. Normally a lot of goals in that game, so I'd like to see Marco Silva. No Ricardoson though, so... Yeah, I'll be watching. Uh, he will be missed. Brilliant for Brazil against El Salvador. Scored a couple yeah, yeah. of lovely goals. Right, talking of South America, we have a personal mastermind with Chicharito in it for your viewing pleasure, guys. Roll that beat. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hello Team FD and welcome back to a very special edition of Personal Mastermind. I'm joined by the one and only Little P. Thank you sir, thank you for your time. I know you're in a rush, we're on a boat, I feel a bit seasick, so let's do it. Okay, first question, how many international caps do you have? I think it is 105. Correct! How many goals did you score for first club Guadalajara in 64 appearances? 26. Bang on, that's quality. You're Mexico's all-time top goal scorer, easy one this, giving away the points. But who is second? Ale Borghetti. That is correct. Who did you quote as your football idols growing up? My football idols? Yeah, there's two. There's two. One is Ronaldo, phenomenon. And the other one, it's a, apart from, apart from my father and my granddad, and the other one is Omar Bravo. Well, this is a bit awkward, because I've got Rafa Marquez and Hugo Sanchez. No, yeah, Maybe a different they are both, yeah. But, okay, you can have the points anyway, why not? 
Who did you want to make your Chivas debut against? Against the Gagsa. Correct. What is the name of the cartoon you feature in back in Mexico? I, I don't know, the cartoon I feature in. Yeah, there's a character based on you back in Mexico. Which one is the name? It I don't starts know. with M. Mucha. Mucha Lucha. Sort it oh, out. Yeah, sort it out with a DVD. Crying yeah. out loud. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Too. When is Chicorito Day? Chicharito Day, I don't yeah, know. You don't know you have a day I think after. it's in August. It is August. It's August, But no? for the full point, the full yeah, that is correct. What former Manchester United star featured alongside you in Mucha Lucha? You can pass. Mm. It was Shinji, but <laughs> moving on. What was your top speed at the 2010 World Cup to the nearest miles per hour? You were clocked as the fastest player. Miles, I don't know, miles. Yes, man. Okay, just guess uh, anyway. Kilometers, it was like between Say. 32 and 33, I don't know. Okay, well, if that translates to 20 miles an hour, then correct. <laughs> Time for two more questions, Zach has said behind the camera. What national side have you and your grandfather both scored against? France. Correct. What a family, what pedigree. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, let's pick the best question. You were the first Mexican player to reach a Champions League final. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Well done. How many goals did you score in that year's competition? In all the competitions or in that year? In, in that year. League? In that year, 20. In the, just the Champions League? Ah, uh, Champions League. But 20, like fair seven. play. Four. Four. But, so you did really well in the other competition. Yeah, yeah, and and, just, and just, just to clear the Champions League. It wasn't so bad. <laughs> Thank, you very, Thank you very much. That was personal mastermind, Thanks. guys. Me and Chikorita are off for a little beer. Cheers. <laughs> More time I'm blessed. You don't want to get me mad. If I ask what's good, please don't... You know what time it is. The oldest game in the footballing history books. One tanner, one loser, one winner. Let's go. But that don't pay me, sonny. Oh, it hits man the way in a hit man. Either way, if I beat it, it's still bloody. I don't like moves that are fun. So please don't go out as a clown. Please don't think that you're above me. Then I won't lay you down. Then I won't lay you out. Oh. Make you fall like a boss. This curse ain't a gift. Well, that man's getting booked. Oh. So it's a cause. Oh. Oh. <laughs> man won't push out the chest. Prime bigger than yes. my flex. But take time to get test. Get the winner with my flex. I don't lose. Don't lose him, come on. Light work. So I'm challenging Zach to the Predator Challenge. Obviously there's six bins that so you have to hit in. Watch this. Oh! That don't count, that don't count, that don't count. That does not count. I'm not having that. Alright, say that, move out of the way. Alright, we're good bro. Ah! Alright, calm. Oh. Are you trying your lefty? Oh my gosh, is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? Halfway Get out of the way, man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! We're not doing this no more. I'm one already. Went in first I'm one try. already. We're now here at the speed <laughs> challenge. My final chance to redeem myself. Part of me feels like it's not going to go my way, but still, let's see what happens. But well, yeah, what's this? What's this? Yeah, you ready? Again. So that is it, Football Daily's day is done here on the Creator Dock and talking of done, Zach, you were done at every single challenge. <laughs> Noodles! Man, like, my shoes, I don't know, I'm just bad at football. Poor excuses, it's past his bedtime, good night and God bless. So that was Chicharito's personal mastermind. Almost took top spot there, Dave. That's nice. Almost. Almost. But big Close. happy birthday to Zach Jellab as well, who we saw in that little VT. 21 today. The boy becomes the man. <laughs> um, right, we've got one last question before we call it a day. What is it, Pete Dorman? Uh, the question is from Lil Sneeze. And they have asked, what teams are the most overrated <laughs> and underrated in the Premier League? Oh, Ooh, be my guest, guys. Dave, you you going for this first? You're yeah, deep in thought. Over it is, Spurs. Oh, I was going to say Spurs. Because they haven't won anything, right? They've got they've got one player, Kane. You 
take you take take him out. Finish. Maybe maybe, maybe just about Ericsson as well. What about Ali? What? What about Dele Ali? Yeah, I don't know about Dele Ali. Um, yeah. Maybe I'd rather with Tong and Lorries. Yeah, I've, I've, that's, that's just Trippier. my that is just that is my opinion. They're, oh. they're over it and un underrated. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, you're right. Probably, but uh, <laughs> and, un un underrated. I don't know. I think. I think. I think. It's, I think. Like the thing is, with with like with like the leagues don't lie, do they? You, no. you are. You are. You are. You are kind of where you are, aren't you? I think um, it would have been easier to to pick last season, right? So last season, based on where everyone finished. Manchester United massively overrated. Yeah. yeah despite mass finishing yeah. second. Yeah. Yeah. Because because if you take David Gea and that team, yeah. they 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 they're finishing eighth. Struggling you know I mean? big time. But, um, I don't really have an underrated team. Fair play. Yeah. Sorry. Josh. I think overrated probably Chelsea. I, just, I can't really see them doing anything this season. You think this new yeah, style is still got masking their... Yeah, and I think, they, I think they, they're going to... I don't think they're going to do too much. And I, I think arguably they're probably battling it out with United, Tottenham and for, for that kind of fourth place. Fourth place. Anyone underrated? Anyone underrated? I don't know, it, really. It is, it is actually a tough question. It's a tough question. Um, You're looking at, like... <laughs> Everton, have they changed? Watford, maybe. So. No one was anticipating this start. Yeah, I mean, who knows? That, that kind of like but, yeah. sixth to tenth could be anyone. Mm. Like the way, like, everyone, yeah. like, the levels are so similar now that anyone can beat anyone. So it's hard to work out who's actually without putting like a decent run of games together yeah. who's underrated. Or, so it's yeah. tough. Yeah. Will, so, any yeah. underrated sides? I was just picking up on Bournemouth, amazing performance today. We talked about their league performance over yep. the last three seasons. Eddie Howe like punching well above his weight. Small budgets, but yeah, keep. Keep punching out of the ground, so yeah, Bournemouth for me. Fair play. Bournemouth, underrated, overrated. Um, Before we go. I think Arsenal could be a wee bit underrated, to be honest. I, like I think if, if they sure up that defence, if they sure up that defence, they if. could take a Champions League spot. I think oh, everybody, yeah. everybody's right, written okay. them off as sixth already. Yeah. I think if they can sure up that defence, they've, they've got the, the attack part of finished top four, potentially. Well, there we have it. On that bombshell, thank you everybody for tuning in. We're back next week, same time. Join us then. Massive thanks to Josh for joining us. And Pleasure. Will. And these two, I guess. You know. <laughs> I'll see yeah, you guys Monday. Yeah, so, see you Monday, mate. See you later. Bye. <laughs>